trains, 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 trains. It's trains, everybody. It's trains on a Saturday. Trains. Hey, thank you very much, Lix Wolf, for chucking eleven bucks in the bucket to get us underway for the day as a uh, as a coin insert, and also it makes a nice change. Well, from my perspective, it makes a nice change for that to be working again after last week's hilarity in the uh, in the narcotics trade. Well, well, the, the, the YouTube didn't let me make any money from that. Hang on, I've got my lighter set up all wrong. It's supposed to be like that, but it's a bit it's a bit bright, so I, I push it further away until I need it, which I do now. Let's say hello to people. Uh, where shall I start? I'm going to start with TBJ, uh, as he's the per person who posted. They they are the first person who posted uh, after me. Uh, then Techie and Madcat and Beerchen and Jaeger and Tim and Steady Bob and David and the Quiltless. Andy C, uh, 77. Yeah, uh, that's his latest score. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. The scrolling went mad immediately. And then Chris and Cliv and Licks and Mr. B, uh, Matt S, Sleepyhead. Tech Star and Dimitri and Blair Stir, Duck Boots and Wolfgang's here. So is Dwarf and Eduardo and Tricky. Black and Sky and Flying Banana Tree and Kevin and Snore. Uh, James and Yorkshire Phaser and Ims Vale. Uh, Captain Stone, Jeff with his boats. Farmer Dad and Karenny. Uh, or Karenny, maybe. Depends if you're Karen or you're just feeling Karenny. You know, uh, hello, hello, and Merlin Kurnow and Chris the Devonian Trucker and Off the Rails and Slats and Rod. Real one. Uh, Eileen and Menso, Michael Phoenix and Ajax Engine Company, Techstar and Rusty and Alfred and Hoosey, Matthew and Captain Stone and Mead, uh, Matthew K, Geordie Boy, Dave, uh, Blake and Skip has turned up eventually after I've already had to boot people. My goodness me, Skip. Uh, nice to see you, Skip. Nice to see you. Uh, Jenny and Eric and Swinney and Patrick and the Jeffroid and Altanache. Uh, the Flying Trucker and Rampage Driver and Wall Wall Dot Sheep. Dr. Gompen and the Pink Suit Guy and Jesse and Lieutenant Frank Drebin. Uh, Andrew and Synesthesia and Nicholas and Trist Iton and DW Trains underscore New Zealand. Uh, Bob the Bomb and C2K. Uh, Luke and Scorpio. Uh, here, here, Jacob and Tez. Uh, Jason and Techstar. Gretchen, I think I've done already, but just in case. Uh, Kim and Duck Boots. Eric and Mr. Hedgebull and Excalibrate. Uh, Ian and Clive, uh, Mitch, otherwise occasionally known as Mitch, uh, Kevin and Pat and Jardine and Michiel, uh, Eric and Chris and Caldo and Generator 314 and Eduardo and Flippin' Nora. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've all started throwing things at the bucket and the bucket's fallen over and it's mucked up me scroll. There's loads of you. Yeah, there are. There, yeah, we, we're, we need to up the tempo. I was already going pretty flipping fast. Uh, Kevin and Bristol Boy and Jarrett. Did I hit Eduardo? I think I did. Uh, Ian and Paul and Eileen. Again, Eileen. Uh, the Flying Trucker, Eileen. Uh, and uh, Major High Drama, Generic Kiwi, Dan and Hatchy, Vince, Wayne, Peter, uh, Dralu, Michiel, Laszlo, Fortress Inman, Keith, Jim, Dopey Dalek, Eric, Liam, Kinky Cardigan, Aaron, uh, Paul and Jick Bose, Roberts, uh, Def Mick, Andy, well over 50, Martin, VMBI is here. Uh, Stephen and Husky Dog and Mead again, uh, who re retracted the message. Well done, well played. Uh, Dwarf and Richards and Chris and the Richards are doing well this evening. The Daves are lagging behind. Mind you, the Daves are usually quite late. We get a flurry of three Daves usually rock up after I've just about finished. Uh, Daniel and Scott and Bearded Foxy. Pioneer and Malas Bixie and Mike and Zach and Stuart and Borg and William and Patrick. Uh, Ultra Neil has been a member for 40 months and tells me to keep rolling. Hey. Intending to do so, thank you very much. Big Galar and Tez has chucked a fiver in the bucket with the choo-choos and has got lots of thumbs up. All right, I'll, I'll throw a heart at that one. Uh, thank you, Tez. Uh, Ashley and Richard and Tony and Duke, somebody or other. Duke, wait. Spanglefin, of course. Who else would it be? Uh, Madcap Martin and Techstar and Michael. Raz is here. And VMBI has chucked 50 uh, Canadian bucks in the bucket. Trains! Exclamation mark twice. Have fun and enjoy this game. Well, I mean, you know, you can't guarantee either. Um, uh, Lurchius and Richard. Michael and 24. Rogue has been a member for seven long months. Thank you very much. That's jolly decent of you. 
Jeff with his boats I've done. Oh no, he's whoop whooping. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, Mike and Scott and Morpheus, Fadal and Sean and Arthur and Dynamic Spoon. Michael, Living Target, Stuart, Ashley, Roddy the Red and uh, Etoile Lyon uh, and Bert. Dave's will turn up in a minute. They always do. Hello, everybody. It's uh, it's that time. It's some trains action in Rail Roader. I'm going to go from scratch, despite the fact that I've already done a little bit of... Uh, you, you saw a flutter the other week. Uh, well, I'm going back to scratch because I didn't play any more after that. <laughs> Just, and, uh, I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to now learn about how to automate stuff. Oh, oh no, life's too short. Um, so we'll, I thought I'll do it on a stream. Instead, these, these people are enjoying it. Nonetheless, oh, it's all going here. Uh, James has been a member for eight long months uh that was a short and strange exchange i hope you get many eyeballs like that online anymore you would have thought the internet had grown up a bit oh yeah well yeah but there it is uh and vince has become a member of the fail brigade so i didn't say thank you james much appreciated um uh, Vince has become a member of the fire brigade woo -wee, woo uh after a long period of decision it has happened. Flame and Nora. Ultra Neil's chucked a ton in the bucket. Thanks, Neil. Um, for the star of the show, a.k.a. the cat. Well, if I hear him outside the door, I'll let him in. I'm just going to open the window. Don't you give me a moment. Flipping. It's already started cooking up here. Uh, yeah. Ooh, ah. uh, right. Now, uh, two railroader related questions to answer immediately. Number one, do I have the patch? Yes, I've got uh, I've got the new patch. No idea what it does, uh, but it went there's a patch, so I went okay. Uh, and then uh, what was the other question? The other question was oh yeah, hey. before this one, before firing it up today, while I was grabbing the screenshot, the thumbnail for the, for this show, um, I went in and I dropped the trees from a hundred percent to seventy percent, and my graphics card went. You're good now, bruv. So, so there you go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There it is. There you are. Wayne's chucked a tenner in a bucket. Thank you, Wayne. Uh, now boarding on gate one. You're too right. Let's get this show on the roads. Uh, I've got a nice haircut. It is a good haircut, this one. Went and I treated myself to some Turkish and it was all good. Um, uh, Raz has become a member of the Fail Brigade and not for the first time. Welcome back, Raz wise decisions and therefore and so forth uh eileen it's fine it's fine eileen you've been around long enough and you run the show in the chat anyway so you can more or less get away with whatever you fancy here we are at the dawn of the buck tangent all action railroad otherwise known as the beta it's kind of like a CETA, but uh, it's not uh we're gonna start with the basics uh, i've named the save the live stream save game there you go. Attention to detail, that one. Uh, right. Okay. Good. Right. Right. Loading. Hope you're excited. East Witter. After the flood. Yeah, loading everything. There you go. Yeah, don't load it under a loading screen. That's what amateurs do. Uh, no, load, load it all in once I'm here. Uh, super. Good. Right. East Witter after the flood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's put this up here. I am going to. I'm going to go through the tutorial actions again, even though I don't. I could be like a keytar as well, uh, but I never think of keytars because they are a tragedy. Uh, right. Get familiar with the engine. Take on coal and water. Rescue derailed locomotive, etc. Okay. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameras. Uh, what's the switch between the two cameras? Is it mirror mouse button? uh yeah yes no that resets the zoom that jumps yeah okay what's the what what's the what's the what's the oh never mind the overhead camera is probably v or q or w or some old thing yeah no keep going now let's look at the controls of the engine sure which engine you want me at uh the one that's not derailed this one right, okay what is a key a key tar? uh it's a key i've, I've already tried it out there ice sir for 1401 um yeah there's a there's a, a prequel video which is covering this but in a way that you probably anticipated it's not making a lot of noise is it no maybe not yet you've got all of this caper 
yes if you sit up here and then is it v no is it middle mouse button no it's it right button no it's it's uh one and two thank you all right there you go right there you are that's that's the stuff and then this will now move me here smooth and then i need to bring up the controls which is like control click or some such select that and then i've got the controls up there yeah 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 all right yeah yeah no i know how to drive trains that's fine yeah 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 yep 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 i even know how to use the reverse on a steam train they i mean oh well, I, I sort of know how you do it let's look at it from outside no i've done that already uh hud controls pardon me for skipping through i'm skipping through we'll, we'll have some all action action in a moment uh train brake yeah 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 hud brakes me yeah whatever uh bell okay D no, no, i haven't uh, i haven't adjusted the in-game volume yet hang on let's do it about now i've only decreased it a little bit i'll decrease it more should i need to and then a bit of whistle I mean, that's worth the price of admi the, the admission right there. Uh, high, uh, headlight selecting. Yeah, no, I don't need any of that. Uh, setting switches. Yep, that's fine. Uh, first steps. Let's move our engine out of the shed, planning to stop at the water column first. We call it a water tower in this country, but I mean, it's the same thing. So uh, so let's st stick it into uh, forwards, crank it up to max. And then uh, you've got train brake released. And then give me... No, 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 that's throttle. Oh, okay, I thought that was the independent. I would have put the independent up there, but no, okay, that's fine. You got the, you got these set right? Yeah, I've got those set right. Okay. Now, when I when I did this first time around, I could not find a flipping water hatch for love nor money. Yeah, but I found it eventually. So there you go. <laughs> Urban Rally Racers, chuck two quid in the bucket. Thank you very much. Try not to bin it on your first day. Uh, this is not my first day, it's my second day. And I didn't bin it on my first day, no. All right, here we go. Yeah. All right, and... Hey. Wang them on. Perfect stop. Uh, right, open the old hatch. Uh, whistle the Twizzler Dizzler. No, not perfect. Uh, okay, a little bit further. All right, we'll leave the hatch open anyway. We're not going very far. Just ease it. Ease it forwards a smidge there, lad. Come on. Come on. Not too much chuff, thank you. Just the right amount of chuff it. Sweet. Right, fill this thing up. Can you derail a train pretty easily? I don't know yet. Uh, don't have the reverser on full as it drains coal fast. Three or four is better and it goes quicker if you have the reverser less open. I'm not I'm not that bothered to be honest it's a good tip but uh, but I like the uh, I like the extra acceleration granularity that comes from having your your reverser up full yeah so we're just filling up with glob at the moment where's where's the glob gauge don't know that's the sort of thing you probably want though yeah glob gauge is oh, wow we around I've already selected it I've got it open here look or I did have it won't it doesn't want to reopen those controls now okay do it again nope no it's not into it it's not feeling it follow it yeah select it can I bow select it no nope. that's that's you done as far as having HUD controls can it shift select click shift click select collect shift click no it's not working oh well, that's a shame or maybe it's just waiting for me to do the next bit. Well, I'm going to struggle to do that. And I do not want to drive it from inside the cab. Uh, yeah. All right. Put that away again. Okay. Close that up. And then we have to move forward underneath the conveyor belt. Oh, doom. Give me the, give me the UI back up again. Just mouse over the container. Mouse over that. Mouse over the container. Yep. Yeah, thank you. That worked. Uh, however what i want is i want i want the ui back up again please maybe if we do a bit of camera out and then camera out and then no nope. <sighs> select the engine not the tender that's all the same thing thank you good one um yeah yeah no it's all it's all the same thing though don't try and tell me i mean without the train the locomotive the tender's worthless 
uh, and without the, the uh, tender, the locomotive's worthless. And therefore, it's uh, they're, a, they're a part and parcel unit. That silly granularity, in my humble opinion. Right, do that. Brakes on. Right, top her up, please, love. Let's go. Go on, it'll spill in from there. Yeah, no bother. That's all good. It's all good. Uh, KG has chucked a five in the bucket. Is there going to be a Tracks and Beats episode of this game in the future? Uh, Groots from North Carolina, you're playing in my neck of the woods. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, is there going to be a Tracks and Beats? A lot depends on how much fun I have over the course of the next four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's that's really all there is to it. Dr. Gompen has chucked 500 Norwegian crowns into the bucket. Thank you, Dr. Dr. G. Uh, goes towards the insurance premium for when the locomotive inevitably comes off the rails. It won't. It doesn't go fast enough. Uh, and I'm very careful. Anyway, I've done that. What do you want from me? I've done that. I've done that. I've done that. Uh, bring up the map. There's the map. Uh, yeah, you can control T stuff. Well, that's not helped it moves the camera to where i'm pointing at oh yeah but i don't want that not at the moment uh maybe later thank you though uh scrolling and all of that business navigating to the wreck piece of cake uh right now you you've knackered me camera no you're, you're back in camera one. Oh, i don't want camera one right we're going up to the wreck that is there so we want to shuffle our way up here a smidge uh, right, we'll we'll whap past these uh, these points here, and then we'll whap back again, and we'll go fix that train, because that's the kind of guy I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, James has chucked a tenner in a bucket. About a year ago, I introduced my fiance to your stuff, and uh, you're no longer together because she goes, "What the hell are you thinking?" No, no, no. Now she probably watches more than I do, uh, even this evening while she's watching and feeling very sorry for herself. Oh, what? James, if you if you truly cared, James, you would have said why she's feeling sorry for herself, or at least alluded to it, and I could do a hey, shout out kind of feel better. Come on, put it to me. Do you want, I mean have another swing at it? I'll keep an eye out for your message, James. You don't need to put any more bucket dosh in there. But look, I mean if she's if she's a bigger fan than you, why am I even talking to you? Other than the fact that you put a tenner in a bucket. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Riddle me that. Yeah. Uh, good. Anyway, thank you. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, we are starting to get a bit of fan action going on now from the graphics cards, uh, but it's at a measurable level. And the brakes. Okay. And the flip the switch. Right. Do we need to flip the other one? We should, just to be on the safe side. Uh, Andrew's been a member of the Fail Brigade for one long month. Uh, has the volume been uh, lowered for dramatic effect? Uh, no, it's usually so you can hear me. I'll crank it back up again. And then uh, if it if it, you go, no, no, that's too loud. Then I'll turn it back down again. Uh, but at the moment, it's so that you can hear me. That's the reasons. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Switch her up. Switching up. You probably don't need to go for, like, maximum independent break. Yeah, but that's how I live. You know, all go or all stop. That's what we're all about. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Is that a more adequate train... A, a bit of an adequate train volume for you? I'll move your microphone so you get the best of both worlds. Alright, let's go. I want to keep your speed low. Ah, do I know? I mean, it doesn't really go that fast, so it's fine. If the GPU's struggling... GPU isn't struggling at all. Uh, it's more that the game doesn't know to stop it. <laughs> uh, Matthew has chucked five uh, Canadian bucks in the bucket. Um, uh, yeah, you probably do want to slow down a bit. All right, yeah, 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 easy. Easy does it. Don't get overconfident or too early. Save that for later. You've got to have a punchline. Um, uh, the, uh, Airborne, uh, the Airborne Kingdom has the sequel, Airborne Empire. It has been on my list for at least a month or more. Uh, and then, no, stop before you connect. Stop before you connect. I almost made that mistake first time around as well. 
let's pull away from it just a smidge because I've got to go and, I've got to go and reseat the thing first come on choo choo there you go yeah I know I put you in in throttle before I'd uh, taken the brake off and you didn't approve right I get to be me again except I'm over here with a really horrendous camera angle there you go or field of vision rather right let's roll Whee. Uh Right, Flying Banana Tree has been a member of the Fail Brigade for 30, no, 63. 63 long months. Uh, because the large numbers remind us just how long we've been up to this cape. <laughs> I know, we're all stupid. Um, uh, right, now, all I need to do is just click it and it will do the thing, right? That's what I recall from doing it last time. Don't make me read. You're going to need to read. Shift R. Tried it. No, 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 the wheels. Shift R. And then don't you have to hold it or something? Walk alongside the derailed engine and tender. For each, hover your mouse over it and hit Shift R repeatedly. Helps if you actually hit Shift R. There you go, until it's back on. But it might not all be back on, you see, because it's gone. Lad, oh, I'm not putting this bit back on. Shift R. There you go. I knew there was a little bit more to it than that. Anywho, we've got it. Right, good. Right, now hook her on up. Hooking her on up. Uh, David, uh, I told my poor mother that I could make a car out of spaghetti. You should have seen her face when I passed when I passed her. Hey! No, 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 no. We are not encouraging terrible dad jokes. Alright? It's not happening. No. I will not be reading anymore. Don't even try it. Not unless you put money in the bucket. And even then, I'll, I'll tell you to stop it. Uh, I mean, I'll take, my, take your money, obviously. But, I mean, I'll still tell you to stop it. Middle mouse resets the first-person camera to normal. Yeah, well, I, I can't, can't be trusted with that. Still feels like that should make a good solid clunk kind of noise. Put the indie back on. No, it hasn't clunked. That's why. Uh, tell me this no 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 go back one couple to the wreck by reversing into it keep your speed below five miles per hour yeah but i know but it hasn't it hasn't closed the flipping knuckle um uh, and I, ah, it did this the first time round as well and it was i think because i hadn't got the knuckle set correctly looks correctly to me uh yeah yeah yeah, it's okay. All right, just just try again. You were maybe maybe unlucky. Okay, all right. Here we go. All right, back it up. That's it. Give it more of a thumb. That's a sound. Good. There we go. Got it. Uh, coffee's chucked a tenner in a bucket. Are we going to play fetching passenger cars today? We will be. Yes, soon. In fact. Uh, and nude has stuck a uh, hundred Danish crowns in the bucket. Thank you very much, nude. Um, uh, late arrival tax. Hope it all is good. Or Allah, even. I hope Allah is good. Allah is uh, great. As much as it can be. But it is. Uh, we are we are in an acceptable position at the moment. Yeah, yeah. no, I thumped it. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, right. Now, we'll take it. Where am I taking it? You're taking it to the shed. Right. So we're going to zoom out a bit. In fact, let's let's do it from this angle. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's do it from the spirit camera here. Right, we're going four volts, and then turn that off, and then uh, give it a bit of wedge. Not too much wedge, just a little bit. Now, I don't need to connect the hoses on the loco. It didn't tell me to, anyway. You don't need me to connect the, the hoses on this one. No, it's only when you're mucking about with wagons you want the hoses connected. Normally, I would do. Since we are conne aren't connected to the air on the wrecked engine, the, in in the independent is best job. Here, see, look, it says... I remembered that because I played this. Yeah. No, no, it's the right suggestion, Dave, but uh, but unnecessary in this particular situation. Hoy. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, everything's fine here. And now we can now we can ease the uh, reverser into a little bit more up tempo. That's good. Yeah. Oh no, the the, the knuckle connecting sound is fabu uh absolutely love the knuckle connecting sound 
Um, that's right. In fact, I have to say, the sound of the train throughout the whole thing is great. Yeah. Yeah. I've got no argument against the sound in the slightest. Um, no, it's it's proper fab. And the smoke effects are good as well. Yeah, and all the animations are good as well. I like all of this stuff. All the, it's all good. And I'm, I'm not a train... Uh, well, I'm not a train enthusiast, but I'm even less of a steam train enthusiast. I like them to look at, but, uh, but usually to drive... Uh, I would go for uh, for something a little bit more hey. diesel-y. Uh, right, there we go. Are we? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're all you're all good here. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm to I'm to to sure. All right. Okay. Slap it in reverse. Take the brake off. Give it a honk. Ah. And then uh, grip it and rip it. Let's go. Hoo -ah! Good times. Uh, right. Uh, James. Oh, James is back. Right. She managed to collect a dose of probably COVID while on her hem weekend. Oh, man. Uh, a cynic would a cynic would think she's trying to get out of it. There are way easier ways to get out of it. Um, uh, to nod from you. Put a much needed smile on her face. See... It's also, gentlemen in the audience, and, and uh, those ladies amongst you who are yet to be married, um, but fundamentally, here is the recommendation for giving a best man speech. Right? It's very, very simple. To make a great best man speech, you need to do two things. Number one, you uh, take the piss out of the groom. Right? Endlessly, constantly. Um, uh, nothing that would get him in trouble with the law or his future, or in fact, current missus. Uh, number two, you are very nice about her. Always. 100% of the time. Um, yeah. Never anything, even slightly. And you even comment on how she's helped to rein in him being an unreliable dipstick or whatever it is. And then you finish on something sentimental along the lines of, but seriously, Dave, because you're all called Dave, um, uh, you're my best mate, and I couldn't be more pleased that you found each other at this time. Dun, 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 the end. Now, obviously, if you're at a gay wedding, uh, you're going to have to, you're going to have to modify that. Uh, I mean, do you work two best men's? I, I, I don't suppose there's rules, particularly. Have I been to a gay wedding? No, you've been to the party afterwards where you didn't get to see all of the uh, all of the speeches and stuff. Yeah, so I couldn't I couldn't tell you if there was a tried and tested format. Uh, lesbian weddings still the same thing. Um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't honestly tell you, but that's my advice. Uh, be nice to what to to her. Take the Mickey out of him, and you'll go a long way, and the crowd will come with you. There you go. That's it. No, that's all. I'm done on that now. Uh, right. Uh, speaking of things I'm done with, I am done with that. Get inside. Change the first person. Get on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click the coupler. Yeah, I've done that. Move your engine forward a few yards and leave the damaged engine in the shed. Then we need to hire a shop worker. 10-4. Good buddy. Right. Let's get clear of it. There we go. Same thing for gay weddings. Yeah, but do you get do you get double the best men's? That's the that's the only bit I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm fascinated. I, I'd actually I'd rather not know because I'd really like to find out. That would be ace. Um, uh, yeah, just I, I, I'm just curious about you know, <laughs> about how the world works. I like learning new things about how the world works. Uh, right now we need to hire a shop worker. Let's do that. Go to the locations tab. Hit I locations tab hit i right where are we we're at the east whittler uh engine service 10-4 okay click on any of the map pointer icons and it moves the camera there don't care about that hovering over the text will highlight tab brings up the everything about everything button yes at present we have no shop staff hire one or two we'll go with one 
Uh, please select player, no, 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 it's employees. Hello. No, that's still me. Oh, back to locations. East Whitler, hire. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, I've hired him. He wants 15 quid a day and he's going to go and fix that train for me. Banging. It's hard to get a straight answer about gay weddings. Very good, well played. Uh, excellent work on that front. Uh, right, fuel on hand. What? Fuel on hand. I've got 4,000 gallons of diesel. Um, cool. What am I going to do with that? I'm going to smear it all over myself and run around the place, I suppose, but I don't think that's really going to work. Uh, yeah, next, way bills and interchanges. Way bills tell you where a freight car needs to be delivered to. This is about freight. That's what it just said, yeah, yeah. So we need to get back in here. Right, now hit uh, two, hit tab. And then we bring up the IDs on stuff because it now wants me to move this coal wagon to the where place coal wagons get dealt with. Uh, hire a couple, it'll be quicker. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to need it any quicker. Right, grab this. Yeah. Okay, select it. Do you, or is it operations? Read the thing. Uh, waybills are used, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we'll cover that later. Well, do it then. Interchange the designated track, usually at a yard that a railroad uses to interchange cars with another railroad. On your railroad, the yard behind the engine shed, which is here, which is here, thank you, uh, uh, does what? It's also my interchange. Oh, super. Happens every day at 6 a.m. Oh, great. Uh, the Class 1 railroad takes the delivered cars away. Oh, it hasn't even told me what it wants me to do yet. I should stop jumping ahead. Much of our freight work will be for our customers, but we also need to keep the railroad running. Fuel is a big part of that. Coaling, coaling towers and conveyors provide coal, and they come out of the thing, and they do the whatnot. Uh, let's use this hopper to order more coal. I'm cranking through this bit, because with the, I'm refreshing myself, because I've only played the tutorial once, and I want to make sure some of it's sunk in. Um... I mean, it's not really going to work, but... Uh, all right, open the inspector for the hopper car. See, this is where I jumped ahead. And that is there. Beep, 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 beep. It's not hopper car, it's a hopper wagon. Get over yourself. Control click. Right. Uh, operations. It was operations. Yeah, now, loads to East Whitler. Yep. Uh, empties to East Whitler. Yes. Okay. Right, and this will set a way bill. It will. Uh, when the hopper is delivered and the interchange is served, it will be loaded with coal and payment withdrawn, but that won't happen until tomorrow morning, presumably. Good. Right, so we now view the way bills. Hit tab. Yeah, I've already done that. Uh, an orange tag will, will appear to show that there's a job here. See? We see that? Uh, Gretchen, just paid 25 bucks into the bucket. Thank you, Gretchen. Uh, if inspired to purchase due to kernel failure playing it, do not recommend downloading it while expecting string quality and a lack of buffering. <laughs> you haven't got your priorities on your on your network usage set correctly, but wise advice nonetheless. Thank you, Gretchen. Hey. Um, uh, you can also select web information by selecting the car itself. Yeah, yeah, and using the operations tab. Let's move the hopper to the interchange. That we can do. Right, close that. Keep that one open because we haven't done with it yet. All right, ten four, good buddy. Let's rock. Uh, which way do you want to go? Well, you want to set change uh, these points here. There you go. And we're going to go. We're going to go in. We're going to go out and back into there. And then we're going to go forwards. And then we're going to go backwards. The joys of shuntery. All right, go get it. I'm gonna go get it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we are. Here we go. Here it is. Here we go. Here we are. About five mile an hour clunk click kind of a speed will do nicely. And on this one, we do need to hook up the brake hoses and twizzle the valves and uh, argle the flargle nargle, uh, which I will. Obviously, I'm all about the uh, the flargle nargle life. So we'll be doing that. Right, let's change that now while I'm thinking about it. That was the right one. Yeah, it was. Okay, bit of break. Yep, that'll be good. Uh, beautiful. All right, he's got it. Yeah. 
Do you want to roll into the buffers? No, let's lock. Let's let's stay in control of the situation as much as possible. Right, get off the flipping thing. Get off the train. There you go. Alright, and where's it gone? It's attached to the front. Do <laughs> try and pay attention. Well, I will. Glad hand that thing. Yeah. No, there is only there is only those you need to connect, and then you just need to cock your angle, cock, cock. Okay. Alright. Angle cocks to the cocked position. Uh, right, up we jolly well go. Jump over the jolly well roof. Yeah. And back into the driving position. Then back out again. Oh, hello. Uh, double A truckling. Truckle, truckling. Oh, we do like a truckle. I chucked a fiver in a bucket. Sorry you're late. You worked 10 hours and drove 525 miles to keep up the great worker's right to get back to work. <coughs> you have my sympathy. Uh, lovely to see you. And then Lady Kate uh, Rose Louise has chucked a fiver in a bucket. Good evening. Just skiving off work for an hour or two to make an appearance. Well, don't, don't admit that out loud, because you know that's the sort of thing that I'm going to repeat on the stream. And so if you're listening on speakers, people are going to go, you're doing what now? Yeah, that's a fast way to get busted. I've been busted all the way, so, you know, I know a thing or two. Maybe more. Maybe less. You didn't turn the brake off in time. That's all right, it's fine. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, 2K21 has been a member of the Fail Brigade for 62 long months. Never thought I needed a school simulator in my life until Edgy Slum. It's good, isn't it? Isn't it good? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to wrap it up in the next week. Uh, not because I've had enough of it, because more that I'm starting to feel like, actually, I want to get into something with, with a different kind of storytelling going on. But I like it as a game a great deal. Uh, and it's very, very funny. And I want to finish it off with a live stream. So, uh, that's that's the scheme no time frame yet might be one week might be two weeks something along those lines you know what you've done here you've gone where you don't know we're shunting oh yeah of course yeah yeah we've got to do some bit of backwards bit of forwards action at the moment there we're gone you've gone the wrong way but i haven't i've gone exactly where i intended to go right and then up here to the uh the towers of justice yep all right I'm still using the Indy because I've only got one wagon attached. Seems barely any point in uh, in using the, the full train brake for that. I shall spare the train. The injustice have been broken upon. Yeah. Yeah, good. Right, give some of this. Oh, yeah. Andy's watched... <clears throat> excuse me. Andy's watched the whole Farm Sim playlist... Uh, and uh, and most of the game dev tycoon in the last month. That's some dedication to the course. I really ought to put together a uh, a highlight reel selection when it comes to playlists, not just individual videos. Uh, I mean, the individual videos playlist rather writes itself. It's usually me dipsticking around in a one and done somewhere. Uh, but uh, but there's some playlists that are worth a go. Project Hospital, if you've not done it already, that's a good series. Um, uh, Airborne Kingdom, that's a good series. Uh, not least of all for the uh, magnificent appearance of Mulawab the Verbose. They're both good series. Because, I mean, I treat you as though you, you probably watched a Transport Fever series at least. Um, so I don't need to recommend those. They're all much of a muchness. Uh, and you either dig it or you don't. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, so no sudden running away and putting Stegs in charge of the school. No, because that's not reality. Look, I, 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 look the ending of the game's tycoon was essential because it was part of the narrative. Uh, Airborne Kingdom was good. Oh, it really was. Uh, wasn't Mulawab the second chronicler? He was the second chronicler, but he was also incredibly verbose. He didn't half go on. Um, but we love that guy. Wasn't there going to be another episode of Uber Boys? No, there isn't. There's going to be one more episode of Game Tycoon, uh, just so that I can get some out of my system. Yeah, but it's totally it's totally isolated from the series. Yeah. Have you got these points set right? No. Do it now. Do it quickly. Well done. Okay. 
Good. Yeah. You've got about ten maps on the go at once in Transport Fever. I could never do that. I could never have more than more than one map on the go at a time. It just feels wrong. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to, I mean, you know, you, you get one done and then you move on to the next. Uh, don't know about you, had a lot of fun with the PUBG videos. Oh, the PUBG videos are magnificent. The me and Steggs and occasional Ali PUBG videos are just wonderful. Especially since Ali's more effective than either of us. Uh, that just makes it even better. And she's so calm. Uh, right. There you go. Yep, yeah, right. Out we get. Unhook the thing. Do you want to put the brakes on the thing? It'll do that automatically when you uh, when you detach the hose. No, it won't. You've got to put the handbrake on, which is a separate little dingle dangle somewhere. Anyway, uh, cock the cocks. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. There you go. I struggle with them because I'm not entirely sure which bit you want from me. And then there's a there's a handbrake. It's up there. All right. All right. There you go. Go on. Super. All right, that's that dealt with. You probably didn't need to do that. No, but I've done it anyway because that's the kind of guy I am. Uh, right. Open him. And then let's trot up to the next junction because we're coming back for the passenger wagon. And then we're going to pass it. Sorry, the uh, carriage. Carriage. Uh, any thoughts on Helldivers 2? Zero. Zero thoughts on Helldivers 2 because I haven't, I haven't played it. <laughs> I haven't even looked at I'm not even entirely sure I know what it is. Um, other than that everybody's going bananas for it. Uh, and that playing it co-op seems to be a lot of fun. I think it's sort of Diablo-ish, but with a lot of guns. So first person... No, third person. I know it's third person. Third person looter shooter. Uh, so it's a Destiny uh, competitor is my, my understanding of it. Uh, is 604 a new record? No, no, no. My record's like 2,200. The, the, the record in the last month, however, you've hosed this. So I have. Yeah, where's the next? Ah, that's all right. We'll just go up to there. All right, fine. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the humor seems up my alley. Ah. Right. Well, I don't know. I've not. Uh, I've not given it a spin yet. Uh, but I don't mind a shooter. Third person isn't my preferred way to play, though. Yeah. Hell Divers the Starship Troopers. The Starship Troopers game was very good, you know. Uh, but too limited. They released it with too little in there. Uh, last year's last year's Starship Troopers game. Ease it down a bit. You've got points coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twelve or less will be fine for going through the points. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Come on in. Come on, you've got an adoring audience. And it isn't me. Uh, right. And cease. Good. Cat. There you are. You wanted it. You've got it. Uh, right, flip back the other way. We're going to zip up there and then back up onto the onto the carriage because that's next. Training a hopper for a coach. See, we might be too far out for the uh, for the way bill to come up. He's not sure. He's he's over there now. He'll be back, I'm sure. Uh, right, yeah. You're well early, Jeff. You know that. You're just here because you know. He knows. He knows what he's doing. Okay. Hua! Right. Good, 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 good. The old squad based Starship Troopers game was amazing. The one from the early 2000s. I swear I played that. I remember it coming out, but I don't remember it at all. Not even slightly. Yeah. Uh, I heard Code Carnage compares Hell Divers favourably to the new Starship Troopers game. Starship Troopers didn't feel unfinished. Starship Troopers felt very, very polished, but you could only get to level 5. I played it at launch. You could only get to level 5, and you would reach that point in about two, maybe three hours of play. 
so it was early access and everything about it was sharp um, but it was like incomplete leveling up trees and all of that kind of business and all of that stuff um, but no Starship Troopers was great just they, they just didn't didn't put in enough content yeah went went way too early with it. it felt like a flipping prologue and I hate prologues I hate them for several good reasons not least of all that they destroyed the humble let's play channel such as this one destroy it yeah right breaks you are going quite swiftly there yeah right uh crank that one yep and that one's already good let's go get her yeah uh yeah reverse brakes fire it up honk all right good 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 will i be reinstating the jeff cam no because he doesn't stay still for long enough he's got ants in his pants constantly and he's not even wearing pants i mean you can imagine how much the ants situation is uh, afflicting him Come on. Come on. Come on, just don't give him any catnip. It doesn't work that well on it. It works for about five minutes, and then he just kind of goes over it. We used to try and use catnip to encourage him to... <clears throat> to do stuff. <laughs> but uh, but no, he, 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 he was just like, eh, I'm over it. Right. Uh, Mr. H has been a member of the Fire Brigade for 12 long months. You've sent the kids to bed early so you can continue watching the telly. Uh, alas, this means no more chat or indeed chatting. Second screen. Come on, be modern. Get your eye telephone out and uh, and all of that business. Although, obviously, you shouldn't use an eye telephone. That's, uh, that's the cause of Western Decay. No, you should be on Android, which is not the cause of Western Decay at all. Yeah. Oi, angle cop. I could... Why? How? Why are you such a pain in the bum, Anglecock? Also, I realise that it is authentic to be able to scroll said Anglecock from zero to a hundred, but is there ever a scenario where you're going to want it less than all the way open or all the way closed? See, the other one was responding to me moving the mouse up and down. This one seems to want me to wiggle. It in a 3D direction, despite me being on a 2D plane. Come on, son. This is not how we do things. And if it only needs to be open or closed, then just allow me to set it open or flipping closed. Go and watch some more D-Rail Valley. They got it right. Come on, come on, go on, go on. Now, up a bit, round a bit. No, just click it a lot. Just flipping open the flipping valve. Oh, for God's sake, 68, 75 just aim maybe stand here then crouch no i haven't got crouch you're too you're too lively for crouching well then i can't flame and get any closer to it 88 percent yeah 94 percent open who is it mouse wheel hang on no it's not mouse wheel Oh, I would have felt like a silly goose if it was. Right, let's uh, release the hand brake. She's done. Okay, we are good to go. Uh, close the angle cock. What? No, I've done that bit. Okay, right. We're going to run the train up to Whittier and Ella. Okie dokie. With a passenger car coupled and the brake line full, release the brakes, set the reverser to four watts, ring the bell, blow the whistle twice and throttle up. No. I'm going to throttle up and I'll blow the whistle when I can be bothered. You can take your senseless instructions for whistle discipline and shove them. Yeah, no, that's, this is my small means of sticking it to the man. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can take, your, take your whistle and whistle. Bell on. All right, whistle twice. Right, good. Super job. Shift click the hoses. What, and does that open the valves as well? I have no problem connecting the hoses. And why are we not moving? Give it large. Because it thinks the train brakes on. 
Right. There you go. It's not anymore. Unless it is. Train brake off. Go. And... Go. It's because you've got the bell on. It refuses to go while the bell is on. Yeah. Okay. Did I put the handbrake on? Uh, Lexi, I'm James's fiance. Uh, whatever I picked up on my hem weekend, a zero out of ten do not recommend. Uh, you're watching the Colonel Failure Television Entertainment Channel to make you feel better. 14 out of 10 and owning Supermarket Simulator, which is magnificent. Ish. Big ambitions was better. Right. Okay. Handbrake. I put it, I just took, I put the hand, turned the handbrake off unless I put it on. In which case, it should have been on, and I'm going to report someone for safety violations. Uh, right. Yeah, release a handbrake. So I put the handbrake on. <sighs> it should have been on. You can't fault me for obeying the uh, rules of the rail. Jumped over the roof again. <clears throat> right. There we go. Get in. Get going. And give it the cheese. There you go. Let's have it. Let's do it. Let's go. Purple blip means the handbrake is on. Nah, I don't know what you might mean by purple blip. Um, I'll keep an eye out for something purple when I put the handbrake on next. Easy down there, Tiger. Right, so our next stop is just up here. It's this. No, it's not. It's just up you've just passed it oh no you're there now oh, okay brakes give it everything yep you've actually no that's the engine shed well where the heck is the little station shed uh right hang on follow the yard leads to the west leading surely uh past the sawmill sawmill one imagines uh, and onto the main line that leads to downtown Whittier. Now, let's have a look. Yeah, this way, this way, this way, this way, this. This, presumably, is Witter. Any clues? No, you don't need clues. All right, is this a sawmill? Let's say yes. All right, okay. Then de-brake, yeah, and uh, crank it. All right, we're off to see the wizard. Hang on, I might, uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Are we off to see the wizard? No, you've still got the train brake on. Okay, and then we'll be off to see the wizard. Control T me. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, no, because that only takes you to where your map is. Right, okay, I'm up here. Control T that. There you go. Right, put the map away. Right, and now, get back on the, back on the camera. I think I might be running. You are running faster than your train in your face train uh, the, the reason I'm doing it I wanted to make sure that the points were set they should be yeah yeah no they're fine they're good they're fine they're fine they're fine two okay at least I didn't get an unexpected ride this time we haven't done yet that's, that's that comes from the changeover at the other end yeah where is train it's a long way from here Okay. What are we doing? 13 miles per hour. Steady on. Right, we can crank that into a little bit more aggro. There you go. I've aggroed that up. Some uh, empty wagons going on there. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's all going. It's all going. We're going. We are, we are motoring now. And I can't move the reverse much further without going into re reverse. So the only thing left to do is to up the tempo. Yeah. Hit that. Hit follow. Yeah. Alright. Okay. We're making some noise. We're bringing some thunder. Now, it does say don't go over 30 some odd miles an hour here because it's a little bit. Uh, there are whistle boards kicking around that you can safely ignore. It says that because no one's going to judge you whether you do it properly or not. 
But if you feel like whistling, by all means, whistle. All right, let's go. But just to let people know what's happening, we've, we've got stock coming up. Right. Turn break. Use it on down. There's no passengers on board. They're not going to complain or ask for their money back or anything. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll it a little bit. Coming up on Whittier Station, where people who are wittier than you live. There you go. Give it that. All of that. That's what we call an abrupt stop. Uh, good. We're pretty much in the right place. Yeah. Next. Oh, whistle blast. I've stopped. I've stopped. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, control click the passenger cabbage. Yes. Uh, on the passenger tab, yeah, tick the box next to, uh, next to Ella. Okay, that's where we're going. All aboard. That's three. Oh, yeah, three. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Now ten. I got ten people on board. They're all spirit passengers. Because passengers is hard. I get that, and I'm quite happy to pretend that there are passengers on board, all pulling little faces while reading a copy of the Metro and staring blankly at their phone. Yeah, listen to a podcast about pottery. <sighs> right, game's a little loud. It's only because I was close in. It should be back. It should be back in order again in a moment, Rolf. Uh, but thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-nine passengers. There's only 29 people who want to go to Ella. All right, then uh, let's pack them in. That means we're leaving. Because we are. Crank that into Let's Have It and then uh, give it some cheese. There you go. Right, now, Ella is almost five minutes up the track. Almost. Uh, they had phones in 1950-60. Yeah, 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 they did. They totally did. Yeah. Uh, Victor's been a member of the Fire Brigade for 44 long months. Nice. All while drinking an eight-quid coffee. Yep. Totally true. Nice one, Liam. Uh, and uh, Victor wants to buy a ticket. Well, by being a member of the Fire Brigade, Victor, you already did. <laughs> Spirit, but does that mean I'm driving a ghost train? The way I drive it could be any kind of train. Uh, not necessarily the type you want to be on, but there it is, eating their five quid WH Smith sandwich. Uh, WH Smith's got a sale on. Let's go. All right. Oh, look, the water doth flow. And someone's had their protractor out for this one. Look at that. Magnifique. That's a, that's a beautiful curve going on there. You put it into neutral. Oh, right. There you go. Right. Now, give it the beans. Don't get over over 30. Okie dokie. I've never actually seen anyone read the Metro. No, it's because they've already read the Metro at the station. You th you're done with the Metro before you've got on the train because you can get through it in the space of about three minutes. Yeah. Okay. Right, we'll sit here for a little bit of uh, action fly-past camera, which will occur anytime soon. Here we come. Yeah, in fact, I might even, I might even shut, no, 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 no. I might even shut this one down. There you go. I'll bring it back up again in a minute. Pretty sure it's one of these. Clang it. I'm clanging it. We're clanging it. And we're honking. We're going to go past. It's going to be quite loud and then the noise will subside again. How fast are we going? Coming up on 30. Right. Who doesn't like a Doppler? Right. Let's go. Bit of Colonel Cam. It's been a while. Uh, Colonel Cam's too fast for this train. What if we get closer? Hold on. What if there wasn't a tree in the way? What if you click back into the screen? Oh, flipping heck, it's all going wrong. Uh, right. 
Not good, Colonel Cam. We're going to need to be good doing at least 50 for that to have any effect. Yeah, see Snorp there predicting that there was a Colonel Cam possibility coming up. Sadly, it did not deliver. What if you're further away? I don't think that's going to help either. All right, we'll try it. No, control makes you go much faster. What about shift? Makes you go much faster. All right. What about alt? No change. That's standard. Okay. All right. No, Colonel Can's off for the moment. Yeah, no, it can't be done. The best you can do is follow. But I shouldn't, because I need to be looking for where this station is, because it's soon. Uh, it's not as soon as I remember it being. Yeah, but it is soon. I didn't go past it already, did I? You might have done. But it's soon. Yeah, no, it's here. Right, here's Ella, which I believe is written. There you go. It's written on a signpost and everything, so it must be real. And, uh, and the train will be along presently. But waiting for a train to appear, I mean, that's something you can do in the real world with your notebook on the end of a platform. Um, <clears throat> here in the virtual world, we don't have to put up with such things. We can just go straight there and then run alongside it and go, gee whiz, I'm having a good time. Yeah, the speed limit for this curve is 30 miles per hour. I'm doing 31.9 because I'm living on the edge. I'm, I'm taking it by the scruff of the neck. There's always some wiggle room in a speed limit anyway. So that's that's all good. It's all fine. It's all fine. Uh, bring this back up. Control click. All right, just hit follow. Let's just do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Right, good. <sighs> Super duper. Good. There you go. Ah. Now available for a bit of chat for another corner and a bit. You know, take your time. There's about a seven second delay usually on these. Uh, the gaming taco, taco maybe, would I have any chance, uh, do I have any plans to play Century of Steam once it comes out? It's the second time I've been asked. Is that a steam train simulating game? Uh, or rather simulator, not a game. Uh, the, the way you can tell the difference, games are fun. Right. Most of the simulators I play are fun, and therefore I would... Well, they're trying to be fun, and therefore they're not actually simulators. Whereas real simulators aren't fun. Um, so, uh, if it's if it's just simulating it, hell no, I won't go. Uh, because I like fun. So why don't play Microsoft Flight Sim? Uh, because... Oh, sure! Yeah, it's a giggle. It, it's many giggles for the first, I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe even a little bit more than that, uh, of, you know, a bit of takeoff in easy mode and then do a barrel roll in a jumbo jet, fly it underneath the bridge, crash it into the ground. And then you realise that Microsoft doesn't want you having any fun, so it doesn't let you crash into the ground. Instead, you either get a game over screen or, uh, or it just bounces off the ground. And then you're going to go, terrific, or what? breaks there you go right we've arrived so so if it's just simulating steam drones no it's a railroads online type game oh dear god no um no i'll probably i'll probably pass on that oh let me revive oh dear no <laughs> next Saturday i'm doing pizza tycoon 2 that's not new isn't it in pizza tycoon like 20 years old or something ridiculous and I played that at the time yeah yeah there's a the, the main difference between a game and a simulator is the simulator the whole purpose of playing a simulator is the journey and nothing else there is not completing the journey means that's it right uh, that, but you take all of the you derive all of the pleasure from the journey from the activity that you are doing is the pleasure uh for a game the goal is the objective uh so therefore in a, in a simulator the objective is just the doing of the thing uh in a game d completing the objective is the is the objective um uh and frequently it will then lead you into a scenario whereby you then get to do it again, but better. Now, obviously, the thing that you're doing has to be pleasurable, uh, but 
but uh, but fundamentally that's the that's the difference as I describe it yeah go way old school and play some roller coaster tycoon no thank you I, I mean I'm always tempted to go back and play some more planko uh, now admittedly original roller coaster tycoon was a better tycoon than planet planet coaster but planet coaster is lovely to look at and it's got lots of lovely customization options And that's why, that's why simulators typically don't sell as well as their tycoon-based alternates. So Euro Truck, for example, it has, uh, it is, it is a decent simulation of driving a truck, but more than that, it's a good game. Uh, whereas you take any train simulator, or purporting to be a train simulator, and the game side of it is usually rubbish. Control T. That's not it. T. That's not it either. Okay. Take me back home. That's reset camera. Put me back on a train. No, this is just first person. You are where you were. Oh, I'm going to have to use the magic teleporting map thing. I get why it does this, but it's still a bit. What? Yeah, go go there. Uh, control T. There you go. Right. Good. Why are we in first person? Because we are going to now... Oh, God, don't do that to my camera perspective. Thank you. Uh, oh, no, we're here. We're, we're where I want to be. We're going to unleash the wagon. We're going to put the handbrake on. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, ETS and ATS are brilliant. Yes, they certainly are. Uh, they're very, very, very good. Uh, right, close the angle. Oh, don't, wasn't it shift-click? <laughs> It does everything. Oh, why even why even bother mucking about? But I was enjoying simulating. Don't get over simulating it. Just do the quick mode. Yeah. No, since the shuttlecocks don't work properly anyway. I mean, let's uh, let's do it quick. Right now, give me that. The next bit of the tutorial is now clear off, which I'm now working on, uh, and then back her up. And then snag that back on the front. And then we're going back again after picking up some more passage. And I am cool with that. This is where I this is where I hadn't put the brake on last time. For those of you who've watched last time. Uh, if you subscribe on YouTube, do you miss out on any Patreon content? Uh, nope, you miss out on nothing. I go to extraordinarily, extraordinary lengths to make sure that both backer platforms get the same business. You occasionally get slightly different wording, but that's about it. And that tends to be only in kind of video descriptions. I'm really into Elite Dangerous right now. I like Elite Dangerous. It's just someone at some point forgot to make a game. And instead it's a, uh, it's a spaceship simulator, which is fine. But after a while you work out that the only point for playing it is to save up enough money to buy the next spaceship. And that will only get you so far. After a while, you kind of go, yeah, I'm over it. Open TTD when. Nice. Try DW Trains underscore New Zealand. Yeah. You're not catching me out. I've answered that enough times, and you've heard that answer enough times. Yes. Right. Okay. Brakes. Okay. Flip the whip flip. No, you don't want to flip the whip flip. flip. I do. Oh, okay. Well, it's just, well, I flipped the whip flip then. Uh, right, crank it in reverse. And uh, detangle the uh, system. And uh, uncork the bottle. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, I, before you consume more cocktails, otherwise known as beer, I, says, I, uh, I rock glasses. Well, thank you. I've got three pairs, three new pairs of glasses coming. Yeah. Three! Three pairs of glasses. These, these are the glasses I usually use for driving. Uh, now this is going to be boring. Uh, and also, it's a, I found out someone interested in the opticians, which I didn't know um, just before he stung me for over a grand. Um, uh, is that from the age of 42, and it is specifically 42, uh, if you have historically been short sighted, uh, your eyesight will actually start to improve. 
because you're going at the other end. And it happens to everybody. Everybody's eyesight goes a bit or more uh, in the uh, in the long-sightedness kind of category. Um, not even kidding. Not even kidding. Um, so, uh, so yeah, my ice, my distance sight has actually improved radically over the last five years, and I didn't realise. Um, but I've now I've got new glasses on because uh, I need I now need middle distance glasses to read the chat ad adequately uh, and, and glasses to read stuff as well and because I'm teaching myself to draw at the moment it is proving to be uh, quite hampering by not actually being able to see what it is that I'm drawing I know details details and arguably at this stage of the adventure I might be better off not knowing but all I'm doing is squiggles Right now, I'm working on basic pen control, or or in fact, pencil control. Uh, then by 50, you'll have perfect vision again. No, you won't, because you'll be short sighted. You'll be long sighted as well. You won't be able to read stuff up close. Yeah, that's the that's the downside. Also, it keeps going. <laughs> so, so you start going, you start going blind at both ends again. Good times. Yeah. Uh, loads of good questions coming in. Loads of good questions. I'm enjoying those. Uh, do I? Uh, do T-Bone said, do I like racing games? Yes, I do. I do like racing games. Uh, but I'm not I'm not that great at them. Um, I'm adequate. Uh, but not particularly great. And the, the greatest racing game... Did you change the points? Yeah, I'm sure I did. Yeah, okay. Uh, the greatest racing game that I've ever played is Euro Truck Simulator. Or American Truck Simulator. Best racing game there is. Because you are limited in speed, you've got AI traffic all over the place, uh, but you're against the clock. Fabulous. Although I do love a bit of Trackmania. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, James said, what was the first computer game or simulator that I played? Console, arcade, or PC? Did I play an arcade game before what would pass for being a PC? Uh a home, a home computer, home computer. That's what we called it back in the day. A BBC Mark B was my uh, first home computer experience. Thank you. All right. Handbrakes are on. Uh, Detour has chucked a ton in the bucket. I'll answer the, the, the game question in a moment. Um, the Detour will be watching when you get back from family time. Uh, I always enjoy family time. Family time is the best time. Yeah, unless you're all just screaming at each other over who ate the last of the shreddies, uh, which I wouldn't necessarily advocate. Bang. And that's just job done. Well, that rather saps the uh, engagement out of it, but okay. All right. And then uh, twinkle the twinkle twinkle. All right, twinkled. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, probably an arcade game that I played first. I did have a little handheld Space Invaders, except it was about that big. Um, but, I, but yeah, no, I did. I think I, that's probably what I had first. And I would have been maybe nine, I think, when I had that. And that was great. I was really good at it as well. Well, you would, because it was the only thing you were able to play. And so you had the choice between, well, get good at this or nothing. So that's, or, or rather, play this or nothing. That was your choices. Oh, I wanted an Atari 2600. But no, that was, I, want, I wasn't allowed one because it wasn't properly educational. And my dad was a teacher at the time. So uh, no, that wasn't, that wasn't a goer. Yeah, he jacked teaching in because he hated it. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, but he was a teacher at the time. Um, yeah. Your very first game was Tocker on the PS1. Tocker, that's a game. That's a good game, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the uh, BBC's not quite handheld, no. The no, BBC's a heck of a beast. I went BBC, then Amstrad CPC, which nobody said at the time was just a Spectrum in a pretty frock. Um, uh, and then, when I go after that, did I have anything else before the Amiga? No, no, wrong thing. I know, it's because I think the brakes are there and they're not. It feels like brakes should be at the top and then speed down the bottom. That's just me. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's true. 
Have I tried the survival farmer game Farmer's Life? I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, I've played something life and didn't really get on with it. Um, yeah. Yeah, no. When did I get my Omega? I got my Omega when I was 15. Right. And Omega when I was 15. Yeah, no, I think, I think I went, uh, yeah, I should have had a Commodore 64. Should have, should have. It was, it was even, it was even a debate between the Amstrad and the Commodore. And I couldn't tell you why I chose Amstrad, uh, but there it is. Your first console was the Sega Saturn. I had a Sega Saturn. You know why? Because it, you know, it, the choice was we were going to get a console to supplement the other things we had in the house. And, uh, and I was umming and ahhing about it. And Sony had just come out with this thing called a PlayStation. And I went, well, look, Sega had the Mega Drive and the Master System. And they are clearly some people who know what they're doing when it comes to consoles. We'll buy the Sega PlayStation. No, I wouldn't trust that as far as I can throw it. Is the wrong answer. I mean, the Saturn was still brilliant, but uh, it wasn't as well supported as the PlayStation ended up being. Hey! But a PlayStation didn't have knights. So, you know, there you are. Right. Grand Prix on the Amiga? Yes, sir. Better still, I put, we played Grand Prix on the Amiga when I was in university. Uh, and there'd be six of us, and we'd have two cars each in the race. And we'd hot seat with the AI taking over in between each of us. And it pretty quickly devolved into we would try and take out as many opposing cars as possible. Uh, while we were driving. Magic. Them sort of days. Yeah, we'd play full races while drinking heavily and uh, and eating MSG loaded crisps. Them sort of days. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. DW Trains, really your first game was the, the Harry Potter box set. Crumbs. I worked. Only in a very limited fashion. Uh, but yeah, because they were made out of the, that of EA's UK studio. Um, and I was uh, I was the UK's community dude at the time. Uh, but we had to be very careful with what we could do uh, on the Harry Potter games. Because between uh, JK Rowling and, uh, and Warner Brothers, they were extremely hands-on. Extremely in terms of what you could and couldn't do, so we opted to keep it very, very light touch on a community basis. I know, fascinating, but you know, it's true. Uh, your first game is N64, N64, loads of Nintendo people out there, and I think it's probably because I never had a Nintendo that uh, I treat Nintendos as being for children because all the games are for children. Now, you could say all games are for children. I would say this possibly less so. However, um, uh, yeah, yeah, but no, this, it, it, it's also why I hate platformers. Can't stand them. I think Mario Kart is massively overrated. Super Smash Brothers is a load of tosh. I'd rather play Street Fighter. So, there you go. Yeah. F198 is why yourself and a few friends called Hockenheim German t Track 1. Love Civilization 1 when it came out. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 1998. No, no, that was Civilization 2. Uh, 1998. I had Civ 2, Grand Theft Auto, and, uh, and Battlezone were the first three games I bought for my PC after finally giving up on the Amiga. As my, uh, as my bread and butter uh, and uh, it was it was life changing very much life changing first game is Tekken no problem with that uh, can you run reverse as fast as going forwards as far as I'm aware I haven't been told not to yeah. I played Ranch Simulator and Farm Manager can't recall Farmer's Life oh, okay is it any different <laughs> I mean, they're all the same thing, aren't they? Except Farm Simulator's great, and Ranch Simulator's a pile of doo-doo. 
my first MMO was EverQuest. Uh, I feel sorry for you. If you'd gone down the right path, you'd have been so much better off. If you'd have worked on my baby, uh, you'd, have been, you'd have been so much better off. Because EverQuest uh, led to the slippery slope that was the death of MMOs. Ho oh, hum. A train on the Amiga. I, I played the heck out of A train on the Amiga. Loved it. Golden Axe was great, but it was so much better in the arcade than it was on the Spectrum. Yeah. Nigel Mainsail. Yes, Nigel Mainsail. That was Supercars 2. Was that Supercars 2 or something along those lines? I can't remember. Alter Online, there you go. Then, them's the right words. Did you play on Europa? That's where I was. Uh, saying that, if you were on Europa and you were playing at the same time as me, you may, we may even have encountered each other online in Ultima Online. Goodness gracious. Uh, did I play any old Sierra games like Leisure Suit Larry uh, and Space Quest and that kind of thing? No. No. Star Wars Galaxies. Should have been the best MMO ever made, but Sony didn't know what they were doing. When Raf Costa left, the game was over. Now, Raf Costa was also the lead designer on Ultima Online, which is why it showed such promise. There have only ever been three uh, real, proper, decent MMOs. Uh, the rest have all been EverQuest knockoffs. Uh, yeah, including Warcraft, including Warcraft, where it's just about killing stuff all the time. Whereas uh, UO and its sequel, Star Wars Galaxies, they let you build real worlds. And that's what, that's what made them great. Uh, down to the professions and stuff. Yeah, Police Quest, King's Quest, Legend Suit Larry, all that kind of stuff. Uh, same as like Secret of Monkey Island and all of those point and click adventure games. Nope. Nope. Adventure games could get flipping knotted yeah yeah uh borg has chucked uh, just short 60 crowns in the bucket your first home gaming experience was spy hunter spy hunter was great i played it on the spectrum and then later on hang on you want to deal with this now i've got to concentrate for a second do that give it some of this All right almost too much too soon oh well okay Back her up a bit. There you go. Yeah, Spy Hunter was fab. I used to play it on my friend's my friend Spectrum. That's where I used to play. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did I ever bowl with North and South on the Amiga? I'm sure I did. I'm sure I played. Yes, I played the first two Battle Isle games. Fairly certain I tried North, north and South. North versus South. North South. Whatever. Yeah, there's only one. There's only one game left that uh, that treats the players with the same level of freedom, nay, respect as uh, as Ultima and uh, and Swug, and that's Eve. Sensible world of soccer, of course. Sensible world of soccer, of course. Player orc camps in UO on Chesapeake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I was on Europa. I was I was part of Spiritwood in Europa. I ran the I ran the uh, uh, originally communist and then samurai clan. Bit of a switch, I know. We were samurai mercenaries. We we got bored of being communists after everybody hated us. Uh, yeah, right. I just made seventeen quid from that. Get in. Now then, back to the tutorial. This is as far as I've got. Uh, yeah, go on, him. Yep, done that. Speed limits, don't worry about that. Ella passenger stop, I've done that. Passenger fare, fare, fares, yep, done that. Let's consider our freight options. Oh, yeah. Ella house track is compulsory freight service. All right. It's part of your railroad's basic presence in the towns it passes through and serves customers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, over the next few days, you'll begin to receive such cards for the Ella and Witter Halcyon tracks. 
Whittier house tracks. House, just, just house tracks. Other examples of freight houses and team tracks. Whatever. Ella Farm Supply is the example of a contract. Yeah, yeah. Contracts are available on those yeah. Cars for these weights of freight are owned by other railways. They own way bills and so forth and business. Prospective customers in the company window opened. Yeah. Find Ella House Track under Ella Station. Ella hey. Station. Ella House Er uh, One. Yes. Now what? The location panels show the tracks for the location and contact details. Okay. All right. Yeah, load all that other stuff in. All right, there you go. You can close that down. Okay, yeah. Yeah, what, what do you want me to do with any of this? You can do the location. Yeah, yeah. Check the check out Ella Farm Supply and in Whittier, Stenzel Man. What do you want from me? Which of these customers look appealing? None of them particularly. Just show me some wagons and I'll haul them. Uh, these would be great first contracts, would they? Well, let's do... Uh, yeah, let's do uh, uh, Stenzel Thingmajigal. Stenzel Manufacturing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Guy over here. Okay. Yeah. Now, what do you want from me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about it? Uh, take two or three contracts. Okay. A tier one contract from here. And the other one was Hollyfield Heating Oil. I'll take one of those as well. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, you can take as many or a few contracts as you like. But keep in mind there's a penalty for lowering or terminating a contract, particularly if you only recently established it. Right. Yeah. The, the tiers that are available to you are blah, 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 blah. Let's take our passengers back to Whittier. Already done that. Uh, before you return to Whittier... <coughs> I appear to have gone ahead of myself, so excuse me. <coughs> How do you know when the cat's in the room? Um, before you return to Whittier, you want to run around the other... I've done all that. I've done it. 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 Arrival at Whittier. Yeah, I've done that. Cut off, cut off from the coach. Oh, okay. We'll leave it here at the station for tomorrow morning. Pull ahead to the water tower. Pull the top up with water. And then go to the company settings and go to time. Ah, right. This is where I got to last time. All right, good. I'm there. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. I'm in no hurry to take all the contracts in the world. I'm quite happy just taking one for the time being. But we will take two because it said take two or three. Right, click that. All right, click this. Click, uh, I see the other end. Please hold. Click this. Good. Right. I'll just leave that applying. Okay. Separate off. I have separated off. Do you want to pull away from it a little bit? Um, yeah. Top off with water. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Reverse. Yeah. Toddle backwards a bit. Toddling backwards a bit. Top off with water. I will do. Brakes, too much, too much. You've gone too far. You've gone too far. Forwards again. There you go. All right, brakes off. Give it a delicate amount of throttle because you want your spout next to your hatch, which we shall now open. All right, come on, come on. There you go. That's it. Just enough to. I mean, I'm being very gentle here. That's just the uncharacteristic. Do that, and that's ah, good enough for government work. Right, grab it. Okay, who remembers Cannon Fodder? Everybody who had an Amiga remembers Cannon Fodder. And the theme tune. Right, we all topped up. Right, put that away. Cover that up. And then... Is that everything you want from me? Yeah, well, Go to my uh, company's window. Settings. Yep. Time. Yes. This will let time pass, during which customers and repair tracks will to toil away the hours through which... Yeah, yeah. Shortly after 6am, you'll see a notification that East Whittier Exchange has been served. Proceed to the interchange. That's the yard just behind the shed. Okay. Interchange served at 6am. Yeah, time multipliers that. And can I wait... Can I sleep? 
uh, let time pass until first scheduled interchange service of the day. That's the ticket. Right. Ports of Call was good, but also, if you've played the remake, it was terrible. Ports of Call was absolutely rubbish, because the remake's pretty faithful to it. 6 a.m., what month were you in? Uh, dark, dark month. Uh, it wasn't L for lights. Yeah, let's put some lights on. Okay, where are we going? Interchange tab. Got it. Okay, brakes off. Uh, we're going backwards, and we're out of here. Yeah. Never managed to beat cannon fodder. I never managed to beat cannon fodder. No. I did manage to beat the heck out of Speedball multiple times. Speedball and Speedball 2. I was great at those. Uh, to the point that nobody wanted to play them. So it was just... I had, I had Route 1 Assault down. Uh, and uh, it didn't hurt that I was somewhat obsessed by it. Yeah. Right. Backwards. That's where we're going now. The, 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 the remake of Port's Core is fairly faithful to the original. The original was only good because compared to other options that were out there, there weren't any. It's like uh, Detroit. I've spoken before about how much I enjoyed the original Detroit. If I were to play it now, I'd go, goodness me, this sucks. I mean, it's still better than the tycoon part of automation, which is such a shame. Because uh, the car designer in that is superb, but the, the tycoon game is completely awful. Uh, it's woefully, woefully awful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, of course, I played Daily Thompson's Decathlon, don't be daft. Yeah. Of course, I played it. Don't, don't, even, don't even go there. Obviously, I played it. And track and field, I played both. <clears throat> What's my favourite Amiga joystick? A uh, zip stick. Zip stick. That thing was near indestructible. I had three of them, so I destroyed two of them. Near indestructible. Space Cadet Pinball on Windows. No, it's all about uh, pinball dreams on the Amiga. Yep, the Chaos Engine. Chaos Engine always looked better than it actually played, in my opinion. It looked and sounded phenomenal. The character designs were phenomenal, uh, but it never played that well. Um, I mean, it played fine, but it was just too hard. Yeah. SSX, I think I think you mean SSX Tricky. The original SSX was good. Tricky was the pinnacle. And as soon as they remaster it, I don't care what platform it's for, I am buying both the game and the platform. Tricky is probably the best home arcade game ever made. Excluding fighting games. Because they're a, they're a category unto themselves. And you really should be playing those on console and not on PC. Yeah. Uh, okay, right. We're going up here, and apparently they'll be ready for me when I get there. If you say so. Oh, oh, oh look, there's news. Okay. There's Stenzel Manufacturing, and there's Hollyfield Heating Oil. And here's my coal tender. Uh, well, coal wagon. Don't know what I'm doing with these, but there you go. Athlete Kings on the Saturn was superb. Loved Athlete Kings. Yeah. Yeah, Athlete Kings was brilliant. Bet uh, uh, prob probably the best... Probably the best uh, Olympics or track and field style game. Uh, Sean, you're surprised by the length of this tutorial. It's because anything you need to do with trains takes chuffing ages. And, ha <laughs> ha chuffing. Yeah, you know, I mean, that wasn't intentional on my part, but there it is. Take it as you find it. Um, but that's the whole point of it. If you can't get through the tutorial because you're bored before it's finished, then you're not going to get on with the game. Right. We need to take that out to the coal loader, right? Your first priority should be putting the coal hopper in place behind the coal conveyor. 
in which case I don't really want to go up there. No, that's going to work out poorly for me. Ah, uh, no, 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 that's no. okay, this will work. It's a slightly convoluted manoeuvre I'm about to execute, uh, but it's going to work out fine anyway. Uh, right, do that, do this. Convoluted manoeuvres for the best. Is Jeebus still in the tutorial? I don't know what you mean. Uh, you never heard of SSX? It was the snowboarding game uh, that was released alongside the PlayStation 2. By EA. Challenge everything, baby. Uh, that's when I worked there. That's when EA were great. When I left, they went downhill. Draw your own conclusions. Yeah. It wasn't until after I left. Oh, well, you're going too fast here, son. That's fine. Is it, though? No. You've derailed your tender, you pillock. Yeah, well, it's, it looks like it's still working, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was going too fast. I'm too busy fondly remembering games. Uh, well, fondly play this one, would you? Fondly? All right. it's, I'm sure it's fine. Isn't it Shift R, Control R? Control R? Nope. Shift R. There you go. Pick it up, slap it back on. Nobody even noticed. Yeah, I gave that one a bit too much beef. You did give it a lot of beef. Yeah. Do you want to hook it up? Yeah, I probably do. Yeah. All right. Do you want to turn the handbrake off? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. There you go. Come on, get on the flaming foot plate. Right, okay, let's go. It's fine. It still works. You know, I barely even dented it. It's all good. It's all, it's all just good. All right, let's go. See, it still works. Hidden and Dangerous 2? Nah, couldn't get on with it. Couldn't get on with it. I don't, uh, the stealthy, you have to do things this way or it's going to fail game was never one for me. Are you sure this is going to work? What was your plan here? Uh, something, something, go up a different side, flip it around and whatnot. Yeah, where are you going to do that? I was going to... Yeah... You might be better off doing it at the other end. You've got a bit more options there. A few more options. All right, all right, all right. I'll turn it around. Wrong way. There you go. Right. This. Yeah. Can we get through there? No, that's where all of your contract cars are. Just go back exactly the way you just came. Okay. All right. Onwards. Max, max train volume. It's only when I'm close. Eduardo, the rest of the time, it'll be fine. It'll be fine the rest of the time, but you won't be able to hear it. Was I behind EA buying up IP and not using them? Uh, well, there's there's a good reason that you do that if you're a publisher. It's not, I mean, okay, it's not a good reason, but it is a welcome to capitalism reason. If you buy up the IP and then never use it, your competitors don't have it. Ta-da! Yeah. Yeah, it's a good reason for capitalism, uh, but uh, no, 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 I'd, Neil, Neil, I've been saying I've got a plan. It's going to work out. Trust me. Not entirely sure yet how it's going to work out, but I know it's going to work out because I clocked that I was coming at it from the wrong end. Uh, so I'm going to do some where I can find a way to do that. Yeah. Okay. How are you going to do that? Look, here's the set of points. There's a load of points. Slow down, maybe even stop, and then figure out how you come at it from, from the other side. Because then all I've got to do is drag it past this again and slap it in. Uh, yeah. So what you want is a set of points to get you on the other track. I might have to go back quite a long way. <clears throat> I'm having a great time. Um, keep telling yourself that. I am doing. Um, leave it here. Leave it here. Leave it here. All right. Okay. You might as well leave it now. Okay. All right. Brakes on. All right. Yeah. Jump out. Yeah. 
do all this. Yeah, right, leave it and back on board. Can't be bothered with the handbrake. If it rolls, it rolls. I'll catch it. At least that'll be something exciting happening. Uh, right, that way, this way, that way. Right, no. The, the big pardon this way. I bet you've knuckled on again, 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 haven't you? Yeah, maybe. All right, go. There you go. Now it's rolling. Hey, it's the ground's flat. It'll be fine. Oh, hang on. You want to no, know? No, I've got to go forwards and then backwards. Right. Okay. There's a quicker way. Nah. I'm doing it this way. Yeah. How do you explain big devs ruining good IPs? All right, you're not going to like the answer. Game development's really hard. Really, 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 really hard. And by the time you reach the point that you know you're on the wrong track, you've already sunk millions upon millions upon millions into where you're up to. So you then have to make a decision of, all right, do we push this through and try and remedy some of what doesn't make it work? Uh, or do we uh, scrub, scrub everything that we've done and go back to go back to the beginning? Now the problem with that is that not only will you be scrubbing, I mean, let's say all of the artwork, right? All of the in-game artwork. You could go, well, we could reuse all of that and kind of go, yeah, but what are we going to do with the artists? I could kick it into the side. No, I couldn't. I need to be the other side of it. That's the, I mean, there's, there's no way around the fact that I'm on the wrong side of it. Also, no, no, it's all good. There is no also. All right, fine. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it, comes, it, it all comes down to money. The bigger the game, the more it's cost. I mean, why do you think it is it takes Rockstar 10 years to make a GTA? And also... They are as cunning as weasels when they make uh, a GTA because they do the last generation console first and then they do a PC version, which they know the people who were desperate to buy it would have picked it up on their console. They do the PC version, which then allows them to push it further forwards, at which point they release it on the next generation console, potentially triple dipping on the same player. Let's think of it through. Anyway, I mean, GTA 6 is going to co going to have cost north of a billion. No. Yeah. It's going to cost north of a billion to make GTA 6. To be fair, GTA is huge. Well, yeah. If you spent a billion quid on something, you would expect it to be huge. Um, yeah. No, I mean, uh, GTA is an industry-affecting event. Anything launching with the uh, three months uh, after GTA next year is going to be absolutely screwed in terms of trying to get attention. Because why would you play something less fun than the funnest thing out there? And GTA's audience is so large, and because it is a cultural event, uh, that it is going to suck every last shred of uh, uh, every, every last shred of oxygen out of the marketplace. Now, if you've never played GTA and you don't know why, what the appeal is about or you disagree with it on a, an ethical basis or whatever reason, that's fine. You're, you're, everybody's entitled to their own taste because it's your taste. It's not mine, it's yours. Um, but the fact of the matter is that anyone who thinks, ah, oh, you know what? We'll be fine, because our AAA game's coming out after what is probably a quintuple A. Yeah. All this reminiscing, Retro Game Sunday incoming. No, sir. Oh, for you? Yes. Oh, well, go ahead. I won't be streaming retro games. No. no. Because I lived through them first time around, and they all look terrible. Uh, at the time, they all looked great. But now they all look terrible and simple things. It's like, I went, hold on, you are on the wrong track. How did I end up here? I don't know. But this is the kind of adventure that you typically find yourself on, where you kind of go, there's a set of points where you, you shimmied when you should have shaken. Ow. Poo. 
move. Yep. Backwards. All right. Okay. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> it would be funny to watch me play cannon fodder. No, it wouldn't. I'd be swearing at the controls here at the entire time and just kind of go, how did anybody ever find this fun? There you go. It was the theme tune. The theme tune suckered you into thinking it was going to be fun. How am I liking the game? It's alright. Prefer Derail Valley. So far. But I haven't reached the good bit yet, you see. And this is the this is another this is another big problem. Is reaching the good bit in a suitable amount of time. Now Steam gives you two hours to uh, to to change your mind about things. Now obviously if you're a train fan, moreover, if you are a Steam train fan. You're going to play through all of this going, flipping, I'm, I'm loving every second of this. This is, this is exactly what I've been hoping for. The train looks great. It sounds great. I'm doing passages. I'm doing freight. I've got a reasonable amount of player agency going on. The tutorial's pretty good. Yeah, it's a bit janky in places, but I can live with that. Every single word of that is true. Uh, however, if you are a gamer, you're going to go, Bored now. Bored, 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 bored. Give me some. Because I have now seen this train going up and down this track quite a lot. And could just be me. But I think some of the freshness of it has perhaps worn off a little. And it's nowhere near as exciting <laughs> as Derail Valley. Which you jump in, you go, wallop, it goes, have a wagon. You go, nice one, bruv. Here's a contract. Lovely. I'm taking it over there. That's a long way. Yeah. This game in multiplayer works well. So you can be bored together. Ah! I jest. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. And I'd like to get to the point... We've got two hours left, and I'm, you know, I've only got a few pages of tutorial left to get through. Um, I'm sure by the time I've got something automating something, I'll go, oh, this is suddenly so much better. Or will I? Because, frankly, I'm viewing everything from this angle, because you have to be a complete masochist uh, to drive a steam train in first person, from within the cab. Um... Yeah, there's no, there's no fun in that in the, in the slightest. Your mileage may vary. My opinions are my own. Um, uh, yeah, All right, okay, yeah. Look, I have a problem whereby everything I say sounds like a decree. I can't help it. That's just how I do things. You are more than entitled to disagree vehemently, and you're entirely right to do so. Right, I've got the thing. Where are we going with it? back a little bit further do you want to attach the hoses do i have to if you want it to move uh, it was moving on itself fair point okay back her up <clears throat> yeah uh, we don't need brakes i've got the indie and there's buffers where we're going so it'll be fine <coughs> you're more than entitled to, uh, to disagree vehemently you totally are totally of course you are I'm just, uh, I'm just pinioning, man. No, you, you wanted to go up that one. Oh, for crying out loud, why they made this so pig and fiddly? That's the game. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'd be on my third trip on Euro Truck by now. Yeah, I'd be having aspirations. I'd have got my first knackered truck. I'll tell you something else. I've been so tempted to start doing Euro Truck on the Saturday night social stream. You kind of go, but yeah, but they already watched Squirrel. I go, yeah, but this would be funny. Would it, though? Mm, yeah, maybe. Uh, this game is like Railroad Tycoon using a Hornby train set. I don't know. Definitely set the parking brake when over the coal. Uh, okay. Right. You don't need to go too fast. Just cruise on past these points.
back her up right where are we going that way okay back up that way okay you're all in for an ets stream i'm on the fence right for ets versus ats um and the simple reason is i would rather play ats uh, uh because big american trucks right but i acknowledge that ets is the more developed game and you do get sometimes you're on the left sometimes you're on the right and anecdotally i'll be able to talk about all of the things in england when i end up in england i'm oh, sorry on the on the on the british isles somewhere right and that'll that'll allow for some uh, some pop culture references and you know i do love a pop culture reference so you know it's a it's a tricky one yeah But I'm not opposed to it. I've got a steering wheel and everything. The reason I stopped playing ATS, because I played ATS. I recorded a series. There's a, I don't know, 20-parter, I think. But from when the channel was real young. Um, <clears throat> so it must be from seven years ago. Six, seven years ago. Um, and, uh, you know, where are you going with this? Oh, I stopped playing after I got a steering wheel because it became too easy. I was going... Now that I'm doing everything right, it's really sapping my ability to have anything to talk about. Uh, Squirrel just flies his plane now. Well, fair, I mean, you know what? Fair play to Squirrel. You know, he's done all the work. All he ever wanted to do was fly a plane, but he could never afford one. Now he can. There you go. He's off. He's flying his plane. Yeah. yeah there you go. All right. Good. Now, what are you going to do? I'm going to jump out. Yes. I'm going to separate the uh, the team. Right. I'm going to put the handbrake on. Okay. Yeah. 20 quid. Uh, it was from uh, Ultraneal. says, uh, Euro Truck Simulator plus Pro Mods plus Multiplayer. Okay. One of those three parts will happen. The others won't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you want to know why? Oh, okay, all right, all right. mods. I don't use mods, um, and I do, well, I will. And uh, I'm not opposed to mods. Transport fever. I use mods all the time, um, but that is because I have got everything possible out of the vanilla game. I don't go anywhere near mods while I still think vanilla has plenty to offer, uh, and that's for that's for two reasons. Firstly. Vanilla still has plenty to offer, so why am I already embellishing on something that I haven't fully explored? Uh, and secondly, you want to break your game? Put in some mods. Hey, guaranteed to screw up your game. What percent of the time? A hundred percent of the time. Start mucking around with mods, say goodbye to your game. You go, oh, but my, my save, I was doing so well. And you kind of go, tough. You, as the Saturday Social Club, know this only too well. I installed one mod for Banner Lord, and then the game kept crashing. And I went, yeah, well, it was only the Family Tree mod, and we were all, like, into the Family Tree mod as a, as a concept. And then it started crashing the game. Yeah. Eight years ago, ATS. Thank you. Flying is playing and watching the F1 is what Squirrel does now. Well, as long as he's happy. Yeah. I mean, look, when you've done as much uh, truck sim as Squirrel has, I think he's earned time off. And uh, I mean, obviously, I'm saying that as Mr. Transport Fever, who's kind of gone like, nope, I'm done. I am done with Transport Fever for now. Bring it back when there's something new. I've played it. I've done it. I'm finished with it. I've got nothing more, even though I do have an idea for a series that I'm not going to use. I'll save it for the next one. Uh, right. Go fill her up. Uh, yeah, and then multiplayer. Why not do multiplayer? For the simple reason of it only takes one person to go. <laughs> I'm gonna mess with him on multiplayer while he's streaming. It'll be hilarious. Yeah, 
failing to, to appreciate that it won't be hilarious and that what will happen is I'll either cancel the multiplayer session and go back to single player, which meant they'll go, oh, and everybody else is playing multiplayer going, you did that, that was you, that was you, that was you, that was you. It's only one per it only takes one person to not get it. <laughs> and it's fine. Everybody wants to be hilarious. Um, but sometimes you're not hilarious. You're just an auto ran, right? You're all you're all part of a collective. And if you ruin it for the person who is trying to put on a show, they'll they'll either cancel the show or cancel your part of the show because you are the bit that broke the show. It's sad, but it's true. I mean, playing with Fail Brigade, I've never had a bad time playing with Fail Brigade, apart from when Pixelator ran me off the corner when we were doing Grand Theft Auto Racing every single time. It would deliberately drop behind me and spin me out on every corner. And to say that I lost it a little bit would be an understatement. I used some very strong language at him. He was suitably contrite afterwards, and everybody else in the race was like... Because it was every single corner, and it stopped being funny the second time. Yeah. So so there you go. <clears throat> yeah, there you are. Uh, no, no, nothing wrong with Jake killing everyone in Stellaris, although I did try my best to nerf him. Uh, what should we do next? Should we do the contracts, or should we do the passengers? Because you, you want to do passengers daily to get your rep up, which allows you to be paid more. I know this much already. Uh, right. Witcher and Ella are happy to have the railroad back. And when you're ready, the communities to the west will welcome me as well. Several bridges were destroyed by flooding. Oh, dear. Um, and the company window set milestones. Each milestone has several phases. Most milestones expend the regime. Blah. Other ways to grow. Perhaps you'd like to look to add more power to your rail. Shift T opens the new equipment purchase window. Shift T. Oh, hello there. How much money have I got? Very, very little. Crikey, this is a good number of uh, a good number of trains to choose from. Do I get... Can I have some pictures? No. Okay. No, you can't have pictures. You can have stats. Stats don't get me excited. You want to sell me something out of the catalogue, son? Show me a picture of the thing and then tell me if it's any good. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, the, all of the Stellaris games we've played have been hilarious and very good fun. Apart from the last one, but I screwed up with the last one in my, my alien race selection. Because I role-played it correctly, and other people that I was neighbours with role-played their response correctly. And it just nerfed my ability to do anything. Uh, can we see the choo-choo? We've been doing nothing but look at the choo-choo. Uber trigger happy. Have you literally just got here? You have, haven't you? You've literally just got here. And you're going to go, show me train now. I'm going to, I've been showing train for two hours. You'll see it again. Not worry. Anyway, I'll finish mucking about with this. What are we going to do? Well, look, while I'm trying to figure out what to do next, let's do the passengers because that builds up rep. And I saw a forum post from someone saying, I'm making so much money from passengers, I don't need to do anything else. This picture on the game's Discord group. I'm not going in there. It's going to be full of trains, people. Yeah. Ooh. Where they go, oh, you're, you're doing all of that all wrong. I go, I know, but I'm having fun. Yeah. Show me train now. His <laughs> the Uber trigger habit. It's fine. If you can tell from the tone of voice... I, don't, I like it when, when any comment forces me into a sardonic line of potential impersonation. So you're all good. You have contributed to the health and well-being of, uh, of this entertainment deluxe. Shut that down. You're spoiling a perfectly lovely screenshot here. Look at that. Some kernel cam is a bit more reliable. You can go for follow. Oh, where's the skill in that one? Still looks nice. Be all right. Give it some. No one can hear what you're saying anymore. I know. That's part of the reason I'm doing it. Clang it. The, the bell is nicely animated as well. There you go. Look at that. Woo! Oh, I see it. Catch the sunlight. Yes, I can hear you. Right. It's fine. Um, say, magnifique. Where are we going? You might be almost there. No, 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 no. It's a bit further than this. Okay. 
don't, the name's Colonel Failure is part of the job description. Well, it is and it isn't. Uh, yeah, just it, it's all about embracing, embracing whatever happens, and not seeking perfection. Instead, seeking fun. And if something happens that you find funny, it's why I only ever play games in Iron Man mode. Because if my entire team or settlement or whatever gets wiped, I kind of go, all right, I'll start again. Yeah, because you, I, I don't know. I think it's because I've started so many civilizations in various different uh, games over five decades uh, that you kind of go like, that civilization's dead now, like so many before it. Um, and you just get used to just kind of abandoning it. And also, I don't care about finishing a game. For me, a game is finished when I no longer have a desire to play it. And sometimes that's right at the end. Airborne Empire, everyone. I played through the whole of that. I probably would have stopped playing it were it not on video. Um, but I don't regret playing through all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, we're almost there. Super. Oh, ah, ah. Now, someone said that having the light on inside the train makes the graphics kick up a bunch. I've turned it off. I'll let you know if my fan calms down. Fan is already calming down. Don't turn the light on inside the train. Save yourself some processing power. Pro tips. Pro tips. Uh, Michael says, as I get older, I find myself not giving a crap as much. Hey! There you go. It's more about, you know, has this given me a giggle over the last couple of hours? Yeah. It's why, I mean, I'm, I'm currently fixating on flipping Satisfactory uh, because the I made this kind of element of it is giving me a lot of satisfaction. Um, uh, but uh, I'm more than happy to tear stuff apart and put it back together again. Although reluctant sometimes when I'm going, like, come on, you've got to do a flipping episode of this thing. Oi, glad hands. Do your glad handing. Hey, come on. <coughs> do the thing you're supposed to do. It's not doing it at all. Well, we'll try it from the other side. All right. Hook her on up. Hook her on up. Get hooked up. Hook yourself up there. Are we not... Oh, maybe we're not coupled. I'm oh, flipping it. The jump on this is savage. Nope, we're definitely coupled. Okay. Come on. Ooh. Come on, do the thing. Do the do the thing. You know what? Don't do the thing. See if I care. Because I don't. I don't care. It wants you on the other end of the carriage. No, I'm gonna shove it up and then haul it back. Uh it can just get used to being abused in that fashion. Right, let's uh go back into two. Yeah. Bring up the wagon here. Uh, yeah, go to Passange. Yeah, we're gonna Ella. Whoop! There you go. Am I forgetting the shift? No, I wasn't forgetting the shift. No, I think I just uncoupled. Hang on, let's have a look. Uh, right. Oh, it still looks good. Still looks firm. Let's try it from here. Oi, glad hand. Hey, 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 hey. It's not interested. It's not playing. Ooh no, that's good. Oh, hold on, we do need to uh, we need to do that, right? I don't think it will make a difference, uh, but it's okay. Passengers are still boarding at the moment, so I'm you know I'm not in a rush. Right, and go. Come on in. No, ah, well, stuffy then. I'll do it all on the indie, and you'll just have to take your chances because I will cut you loose if uh, you refuse to comply to a braking order. It's definitely uncoupled. Well, why are they all aboard then? Because they're mad people. Yeah. Well, we're going forward, so what does it matter? Oh, it's been a while since I've done this. Oh, we're leaving instantly. Yep, we're definitely uncoupled. We might be coupled now. Yep, there you go. Fixed it. Derail Valley doesn't care. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. And that's what makes Derail Valley great. It doesn't care. Oh, those early derail, derail valley days 
where I'd be chasing wagons down while dangling off the front of the train trying to get it uh, trying to get it hooked up. God, that was, that was fun. That's the that's the level of adventure I want from things. The the tricky bit is as you become more proficient and even someone as haphazard as myself over time I become more proficient at doing things. Um, it immediately removes the kind of the highlight of a show uh, when you when you kind of go. I I just remember one episode where I must have spent fifteen minutes with it doing like between like seven miles an hour with me trapped between the couplings trying to trying to hook it back up accidentally abs, ac accidentally uh, uh, multi-track drifting the train recently that was quite good but you can only do it accidentally it's so very obvious when you forced it and I don't I mean it's the whole reason I stopped watching Top Gear is that the uh, the contrivances of the adventures that they get up to and oh it's gone wrong <laughs> yeah I know it was incredibly obvious that was going to happen because you've prepped all of this it's all faked none of this is genuine it's now I mean you're just you're treating me like an idiot <clears throat> right yeah good what is my opinion of the situation with City Skylines 2 and the handling of it by the devs and the publisher uh, right firstly I think the, the community are exaggerating. Um, it's overblown. It's reached the point where, as a community manager, it's the point I describe as, come on, quick, we're in the, uh, we're in the race to see who can be the most angry or disappointed. Uh, and so there's a lot of exaggeration. I've played it, and it's fine as much as I've played. It's fine. Um, uh, but the but performance isn't there yet. Uh, they will work on it, and they'll fix it. Should it have come out when it came out? I think it had to come out when it came out. There'll be numerous reasons why it had to come out when it came out. I don't know what they are. Commercial will definitely be one of them. Uh, but the big, the big warning flag was that they needed more time to optimise for console. Which said, it's not very well optimised on PC. And that's where the problem's been. All of the furore about mods is hilarious. No game developer in the world owes you mod support. None of them. Oh, we're not going to play it unless you give us access to hundreds of thousands of pieces of free stuff. I'm um, sorry, what? And also, the original game's still available. And also, you can refund it. And also, you can read the reviews before picking it up in the first place. The number of people that kind of go like, oh, this doesn't sound like it's reviewing very well. I'm going to pick it up anyway and see for myself. Oh, it's not very good. I'm going to play loads of it anyway and then not refund it. Uh, and then I'm going to complain about it despite being well educated on it. You kind of go, you've done this to yourself. This is a 30 mile an hour corner, bruv. Yeah, we already seem to be slowing down real quick. You think something came off the track? I think that's a distinct possibility, yes. Okay. Oh yeah, we're making some noises. No, when you say something came off the track, everything came off the track. Okay, right. Do you reckon my other train's finished yet? No, that was one day and 11 hours. I can wait. Don't worry, Passage. I'll be back for you. Oh, hold on, maybe it still works. Let's use my superpower. I might have to get out. Although this is making a funny noise. Uh, let us find out how funny. I think it's downhill from here, so we might be all right. Okay, let's uh, shift off. That's back on. Yeah. Stop making a funny noise, please. That's back on. Yeah. All right. And that's come uncooked. That's right. And that's back on. You were going too fast. Only just. That's not on. That's not on. No, I think it is back on. Well, I'll tell you what it isn't doing. It's, like, it's not sitting on the rails. No, it looks like the bogies have, uh, have rather broken there. Flange is sitting in the wrong place on the railhead. It shouldn't be sitting on the railhead at all. Right, hook it back up. Oh, that's just air escaping the noise. Are we deconnected? Let's say yes. Okay. I reckon the train's probably fine. 
That's just air escaping from the hoses. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's going to be fine. It's, uh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Right. Uh, back in to check it, check it out. Uh, sticking them backwards. Yeah. yeah, you see, you've got your brake, your brake valves going there. So if it doesn't move, go and shut your brake cylinder. Oh, no, then you're good. Back it up a little bit more. Then give this thing a thumb. Good. Yeah, it's going to make the noise again. That's okay. Right. Hit it. Got it. Okay. Right. Get out. No, you don't need to get out. Just do that. Just do, just do that. It's not interested. Oh, do you reckon the knuckle's busted? It's conceivable. Also, it's not on the rails at all. No, it isn't. Okay. In which case, decouple again. I think you probably are already. Okay. Uh, back her up a bit. Right. Now try and fix it. Okay. Shift R. Only available in first person. All right. Okay. Because the angle I'll be looking at it is so radically different. Tell the passengers to get out and push. We'll save that for a moment from now. Uh, right. Get on. Fixed it. Now, give it a thump. Gonna give it a thump. Right. In that. Yeah. Back her up. Uh, slap it this way for some action camera. Do you reckon you've got enough run up? Let's give it a little bit more just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I know. My, my, my brake hose is open. That's all it is. Alright, there you go. Alright, stick it in forwards. It's probably quite bad for the reverser, but it'll be go. It'll be okay. Uh, the passenger's okay. They're invisible. So whether they're o a okay or not, no one will know. Uh, here we come. I've given it means business kind of speed there. He's off smidge. There you go. Made the sound. Now do this. Sound has stopped. Right. We may now proceed to our... No, stop that. Now do that. There you go. And then onwards. It's, cause you, it's probably because you're pushing your wagon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you were. Hold on. Normal service is resumed, kittens. All right, there we go. <sighs> no, if I was pulling rather than pushing, we might have been all right there. Uh, I was warned that there was a 30 mile an hour corner. I was doing 40. Uh, and the flipping coach dragged the entire caboodle off the uh, off the effort. Why have you gone berserk? Sorry, graphics card just went flipping egg. I don't know. Maybe it's because the smoke looks really nice. Maybe it's the nice shadows being cast. No, it's only uh, do I think I'll ever revisit Rimworld? Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to revisit Rimworld. But I tell you, I think I've done it four times now, and it has always massively underperformed. Massively. Um, so as much as I love it, I can't. I can't honestly say that I'll. I'll go back to. It. I'll probably play it for me some more. I'm going to play uh, Norland probably uh, when it comes out. I'm thinking of switching to Norland when it comes out as the Saturday stream. Yeah. That'll be that'll be good, yeah. Uh, he's pretty, yeah. I know, but your graphics card is making a right song and a dance about it. Yeah, it's still pretty. I should hope so. Uh, adjust this. Oh yeah, we can go faster. Rimworld and Naomi and Naomi is out next month. Anomaly, yeah. Uh, it's fine. I mean. Look, I, I like all of the DLCs for RimWorld because they all add something significant and meaningful. I thought Biotech was much better than Royalty. Uh, Biotech, I thought, really added loads. Royalty was good, but Biotech was ace. Uh, Manor Lords, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, what's Norland? Norland is RimWorld meets Crusader Kings. Any further questions? didn't think so right we'll use the independent because that way you're pulling the brake rather than 
using the carriage to stop. Okay, we'll use both. There you go. Brakes on. All right, talk to the passengers. They'll be more than happy. Get off. Thank you. They're all getting off my train. Whew. Yeah, good. Are there a lot of games that I like but wouldn't wouldn't work for the channel? Um, I like tons of games, right? But it's it's that's more a question of are there any games that I would play but not run on the channel? Uh, and only so, so GTA, for example. I would do a video series on GTA. I'm not thinking of doing it, but I would do one. But I would edit the hell out of it first. And I'd do what I always do, which is pervert how the game is supposed to be and turn it into something else. So I'd turn it into, you know, uh, I'd do a series called More Tea Vicar, um, where it's just about a, you know, Church of England vicar driving around his parish visiting people and have you know the most underprivileged people imaginable all yelling at him which i'll bleep constantly uh but i'll do it all with you know happy pastoral music yeah there you go <clears throat> yeah yeah uh what happened to subscriber series i've got one lined up i've got one lined up i've just got to record some why did i stop uh it was it, one part time sync one part enthusiasm i think the last one ran out around the time my enthusiasm for much of anything kind of ran out uh i mean that's not a you that's a me that's a me problem and it is on the uh it is on the to-do list if you haven't visited the new look discord you should uh because everything is now very very easy to find but i do have a series lined up for you and it is rimworld desk so there you go best of both worlds yeah. Uh, right, are we leaving? I believe so. Right, good. Are we leaving? Yeah. What are you looking for? I was trying to use keyboard controls. Well, that's not going to work. It doesn't have keyboard controls. It probably does. But it's probably control, alt, numpad, five, and then look at it. Yeah, okay. <coughs> uh, would I go back to jump like galaxy after it matures it's not going to mature jacob they've uh, they've cancelled development on it they ran out of money the reason they shipped it when they did was they were gambling on it releasing into early access making enough money to justify uh keeping the team on to work on it and uh, and they had to uh, they've had to they've had to abandon ship which is a real shame because Jump Light Odyssey had so much promise. Uh, stylistically, it was amazing looking. But they just ran out of money. Yep. Afraid so. There's no room <clears throat> There's no room for error in the games industry. And too much stuff released into early access in a bare bones fashion. We were talking about Starship Troopers earlier on. I'll probably never play it again. I had a thoroughly good time in the two, three hours I played of it, but I only played that much because that's how much there was. I would have played more, but there wasn't more, so I didn't play more. The end. <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, someone said Cyberpunk is something that I won't play on the channel. I had a good concept for Cyberpunk, again, pervert perverting the course of justice. Uh, on the uh, on the way that Cyberpunk is versus what I would have presented. It's in the same way as I take nice and innocent games and make them sinister. Uh, I take you know I'll take adult games and make them innocent. Um, I had a had a halfway decent concept for it, but I never got around to doing it because it didn't quite work. And plus, I was enjoying playing it just for me not having to think about what's the next you know your next hilarious thing oh uh, neil what a, what are my thoughts on star citizen neil you should watch reduced man you remember i've covered star citizen extensively uh my answer to the question are you going to play star citizen i'll go yeah when it's finished 
Now, I know that in the last week, they've said that they're thinking they're, they're going to finish it this year. And I kind of go, how many features have been cut then? I mean, by all, by all accounts, it's in, it's in a, a fairly pliable state now. But what are my, what are my thoughts on it? Uh, it's, uh, it's made by a charlatan. An absolute charlatan at a chancer. Now, don't forget that he, Chris Roberts, worked at Origin which is the company who made Ultima Online. Um, and not one developer from Ultima Online has ever said, yes, everyone should get behind his product because he's such a great guy. I also know plenty of developers who have worked at Cloud Imperium, and I know everything that they've said about it, hey! and why they left. <laughs> I, I think that the aspiration, I, and I find myself agreeing with Derek Smart, which is not, not easy to do. Derek Smart, for those of you who don't know, came up with a series of battle cruising games. Uh, he had a great, he had a vision for a game in his head, and he would do most of the work himself. Smart man, but suffers from Molyneux syndrome, whereby he talks about what's in his head, rather than what's going to be reality. Uh, and if you can kind of channel what's in his head versus what you end up getting, this is a nice view, um, then you're, you're going to be less disappointed. The problem with all the battle cruiser stuff was they were horrendous, buggy, unplayable pieces of crud. Universal combat, yeah, that was another one. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, but when he says the game you're describing you're going to struggle to make it because I've been trying to make it for 30 years and he would know <laughs> he would know because he would know all of the things that that team had to solve and I also know they spent a long time trying to solve things they didn't have to solve that they, gen they genuinely didn't need to didn't need to tackle in the slightest um and I know that from some of the devs that have worked there previously and ended up working alongside me for one reason or another. Um, yeah. Uber Truby and Happy has been convinced by the nature of conversation this evening to become a member of the Fail Brigade. Good work, well played, excellent job. Yeah. 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 Uh, Peter Molyneux is great. Uh, he's absolutely great. But under no circumstances, any day of the week, for any reason at all, should he ever, ever be allowed to talk to the press, ever, under no circumstances. He shouldn't be allowed near the internet, he shouldn't be allowed near the press, um, because he's too honest, right? And everybody goes, but he's a liar. And you kind of go, he's not a liar. What you think he's saying and what he's actually saying are two separate things. And it's very easy to get them confused, which is why you shouldn't be talking to the press. Very easy to get them confused. Honk it. Fire. There you go. Uh, William has chucked 17 and a bit quid in the bucket, which is an oddly specific and beautifully marvellous amount of money. Um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, just cause... I find that just cause hey. is, is the best reason to do anything. <laughs> uh, Ashley says, what do you think, I what would I say was the most addictive game I've played so far? Addicting, I hate. I hate addicting as a, as a word. I realise it's caught on and therefore people can't protect themselves from that. But it's addictive, not addicting. Um, uh, probably, um, uh, it's too hard to say. I think... I would go with something along the lines of civilization. Uh, uh, coupled with something along the lines of Ultima Online slash Swug. Um, because you always want to play more. A good, a good MMO, you just want to play more and more and more and more and more and more. You lose your life to it. Uh, which is why I always... Uh, I always ran screaming away from Eve because I'd pick it up and I'd start playing it and I'd go, oh my good God, I am going to lose my entire existence to this. 
I have to get away from it right now. Wisely, I have done so. Um, yeah, the, the games you think about playing when you're not playing them, they are the worst. That absolute slash best. There you go. Uh, does Sean Murray go in that boat as well? No press talk. Nope, Sean Murray's fine. Uh, the, he, the, their problem was in being given an unrealistic timeline by Sony. That's all it was. They were given a timeline they couldn't hit by Sony. And to be fair, No Man's Sky at launch, it wasn't awful. It was not as good as it could have been. But now it exceeds all of the expectations that people had. But Sony just insisted on it going out too soon. Uh, for good reason. There's always a good reason if you accept the capitalism reason as a good reason. And it doesn't matter if you are a capitalist or not. You kind of go, that's the game. That's the game they're all playing. And if you don't like the game, find a different game. But no, there doesn't seem to be one in the offing because we're all playing it. Right, I'm going to go feed the cat. Uh, and then I'll be back. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's, I got him a new box. Well, Amazon did. Um, and so he's quite happily asleep in that. But if I don't wake him up soon, he's going to he's gonna kick off shortly. <sighs> now, don't, I don't think there's anyone in the games industry in the UK who doesn't know someone with a My Time at Cloud Imperium horror story. Quite right, too. Right, I'll be back presently. I shall get you in close enough to the train that hopefully it makes some sound. Okay, it doesn't. But, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? I don't know. Press the right button. Press the right button. Press that button. Cr 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 it's already cranked up. All right, well, give it a little honk. Oh, Madam Google's kicked off. Oh, no, she wants me to unlock it. Okay, all right. I'm going to go feed the cat. I'll be back in a minute.
This is an uninspiring camera angle I've left you with. Give me a moment. And we're not doing the weather today. And thank you, Tim. We're back. Good, right, good, yeah. The reason, the reason for no weather is a simple one, is we already burn the first 10 minutes of the, the, the stream on doing hellos, right? And then we burn 15 minutes on doing the weather as well. And sometimes I want to get, you know, we've got an hour and a half left today, and I want to get to the point of... Uh, you know, uh, of going. Come on, show me, show me the next, the button, the next best thing. Uh, Lee has been a member of the Fabrico for fifteen long months. The weather is here. I wish that it was somewhere else. I know we had hail this afternoon. It's mad. Um, yeah, I mean, you're free to talk amongst yourselves about the weather, but uh, there will be no official uh, sanctioned weather forecast today. Right now, all of my freight contracts are up the other end. Classically. Do you want to take the, the passengers back again? Didn't I already do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. All right, well, let's uh, sort ourselves out then. Whatever happened with Manor Lords, it's not out yet. Yeah, that, that, that's what happened. Nothing's happened with Manor Lords yet, because it's not out. Do you want to top up your water? You've got three and a half thousand gallons. I mean, I think the capacity is only 4,000, so we're fine. Yeah. Hooey. <laughs> Matt should be out sailing his boat instead of watching someone else play with trains. I mean, that's on you, Matt. I mean, you can't you can't hold me accountable for that one. Uh, no, that's you, know, you have to take some personal responsibility there. Yeah. Uh, good. Right. There you go. That's all. It's all lovely. Well, I, I need to scroll back and see the chat while I was away. Right, okay. No, 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 no right rivet in chat. Good. Okay, now we're going to get these wagons and we're going to take them to where it is they need to go. Of course, I need to figure out where they need to go. Oh, well, it'll be, it'll be what it is. Hail and thunder in Kent. Oh, we didn't get thunder. Kent getting the exciting weather. <clears throat> It's always interesting to hear where people are tuning in from for the weather report. Yes, I think that's the best bit. It's less about the weather and more about the diverse range of places from where people are watching. And it's always nice to hear somewhere new. As much as I like hearing all the places that we hear regularly, uh, all the places that are something new. You were out on your push bike earlier today. There's nothing quite. There's nothing fun about having small lumps of ice hurled into your face at 15 miles an hour. Oh, I don't know. It depends on the situation. But yeah, on your bike while you're going somewhere, probably not. Right now, then our contracts are up here. Yeah, and the question becomes, where do I need to take them? Now, there's two. These are all hooked together at the moment, right? Yeah. Speed's good. I'm doing 20. That'll, that'll bring me all the way back. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, open the door. Close the door. Okay, good. Give me... No, I just, I just want the information. Your destination is Stenzel Manufacturing with 40 tons of metal stock. Evidently empty at the moment, though. Uh, T-Bone has been a member for nine long months. 
uh, after being T-boned, uh, T-bones ribs are still painful. Um, hairdressing sim was so funny that you needed extra pain relief. <laughs> and you bought let school as the next teacher. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. Um, hairdressing sim, incidentally, if you didn't catch me talking about it subsequently, hairdressing sim is really good. It is really, really good. And you kind of go, you're being facetious, right? No, 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 genuinely. It's really, really well done. Um, I played another five minutes, ten minutes, because there, there was another training course after the bit that I recorded, which is where you actually cut hair uh, rather than just having the clippers to make people bald. Um, and it's nicely done. It's done by the same people that did um, House Flipper, and they did a good job on that. And the thing is... For people who go, oh, I, I've always wanted to be a hairdresser, or I'm studying to be a hairdresser, or I love changing my hair, people are going to have a great time with it. I am not one of those people. Um, and also, it's a janky simulator, and therefore you can, which isn't a simulator, it's a game. Uh, sorry, I thought the air hose was going there for a moment, but it, it seems to be fine. Um... But yeah, for people who uh, <clears throat> for for people who who have yearnings in a in a hairdressing kind of a fashion, they'll probably have a great time with it. When you crank it all the way on and then all the way off again, shouldn't be doing the hokey cokey. Also, we should be moving. Maybe put this down to there. There you go. Right. Yep. Thank you. Floop 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 floop. That score seems like a horrible game. No, Let's Call is a really, really, really good game. It's just got so much in it that it throws at you. Um, and half the reason that I just I let it throw stuff at me is because I think it makes for more interesting video if I'm barely in control. Yeah. Uh, you're quite looking forward to watching Disco something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I think... Which is better? Oh, uh, hairdressing simulators were by far the better game. I'm not sure that connected. Yeah, it did. Okay. Um, right, let's put some train brake on. We've got all three, right? Certainly seems that way. That hand brake's off. Yeah. What about this one? Uh, oh, it's up there. Okay. That one is on. Interesting. Okay. And this one? This one is on. Okay. Right. All right, right. Where do you want to go? Tell me where you want to go, and I'll probably try and take you there. You wish to go to Stenzel Manufacturing, Stenzel Manufacturing, and Hollyfield Heating Oil. To the map! Oh, so there's a good amount of map. That's nice. Okay. Give me a hint. Give me a clue. Go on. Go on, I dare you. Go on, put some labels on your map. Live a little. Some sidings. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah. No, no clues. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Well, right, this way. No, you're right at the end of the line, I think. I'm not. There's, look, there's all this down here. Look for places called either Stenzel or Hollyfield. No, you're barking up the wrong tree there. I know, but it's the only tree that I appear to be able to bark. So we'll we'll try it anyway. Uh, yeah. Don't read the chat because people are trying to tell you how to do it at the moment. Yeah, I'm not going to. It's far more satisfying to figure this out for yourself. Right, there's Ella. Ella is separated at the end, so it can't be up there. They did talk about repairing a bridge. They wouldn't throw that in there on your first contract. That would be terrible design. So it's got to be up towards Connolly. All right, maybe there's some more scrutiny you can apply to this. No, never mind open that. Here we go, look. Operations. Stenzel. Yeah. Origin. Here. Ah, go there. Right. Where the hell are we? It's just here. That's right next to where you live. Right. Now, you're going to have to do a fly past and then a backup. Okay, so you don't want to bring the oil wagon. You could detach the oil wagon about there and just leave it there. That would work. Although, where does the oil wagon wish to travel to? To where does the oil wish wish to travel? Please hold. It's no distance at all. This is a doddle. 
Uh, right. Yeah. You. Hello. Yes. Talk to me. Where are you going? Hollyfield. Oh, yeah, I knew that much. Where are you? That is the same place. Cool. Okay. All right. Piece of cake. Yeah, we'll take all three. And we'll cut the oil wagon loose here-ish. We'll then continue up here, back the first two into there, and then we'll come back for the oil, and then the oil will be on the wrong side of the train. Nuts. Okay, in which case we'll then... Oh, where are you going to drop it? Come up here, yeah. Yes. And then I'll back all the way up there. Maybe stick it in there. Yeah, yeah, stick it in here. Then come all the way back up, go round there, and then reverse round this way, clunk on there, and then you can push it into the destination. Piece of cake. Not even, not even slightly troublematic. <clears throat> or I could do the oil first. No, the oil's on the wrong end. It'll be on the wrong end of the train. It's all good. I've got it. I've got it. I know where I'm going. I, I do what I'm doing. I am what I'm feeling. We are where we're going. Are we rolling? We are about ready to roll, I reckon. Okay. Yeah. Okay, run around at Whitler and push them. Nope, that still won't work. Yeah. No, nah, just shut up. I'm doing it. It's going to work. It's fine. It's fine. I don't need your map reading skills. I've got this. All right. Tally-ho. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here it is, here we go. There's a nice short run around between the two. I'll evaluate it again once we get closer. Come on then. Flipping have it. What's going on with this flipping brake guard? Do you reckon I have actually broken my train a bit? Well, something's making a bad noise. Okay, have we hand shook here? Yeah. What about here? Yeah. What about here? Yeah. Okay, and that's off, that's off, and uh, wait, there should be three. That one's off, that one's off, and that one's off. All right, ease that. Do the, let the brakes have a think about themselves and what they've done recently. Okay, Indy is off. All right, it's still saying there's brake pressure in there. How's my water level? I've got loads. I've got three and a half thousand gallons. I've got loads. Loads of it. Check the solenoid. Yeah, what's happening? All right, hang on. There's a needle there that's pointing to nothing. All right, what are you? That's, a, that's brake pressure, and it's not. Give it a tap. Do you reckon it hasn't? Uh, I reckon it hasn't. I reckon it hasn't. Yeah. Okay. Give, go to two. Uh, stick the indie on. All right. And then get back in here. Get out. Let's go and investigate manually. Could be that the hongle dongles aren't properly in the open connection. All right. Disconnect. All right. And then reconnect. It's honking again. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'll let this one. Disconnect. Yeah. Reconnect. Alright. And then this one. Hmm. Seems to be coupled. Well it wouldn't let you it wouldn't let you pipe up. Front of the front of the train. Front of the train. Uh, well this does seem to be why are you open? Oi, cock. Pack it in. Right. There you go. For some reason, that was open. And that was giving everything the, the, the a load of trouble. Right. Okay. Let's turn that off. Yeah. That's probably off. Turn this off. No, hold on. It's doing things. Let it do all the things. Right. Now let it do all the things. And the number in there is telling you how much brake pressure it's got available if you want it. I care. Yeah, you should. Let's go. Alright. 
Okay, we're away. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Here we are. There we are. We're away. We're going. Give it some. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Open the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it ventilate. How else will we have hobos traveling with us? How else indeed? Alright, the BTAR 2 is rolling out. Okay, have I battened the crampons? Not recently, but that's a personal question anyway. Right, what are we doing? Now, you're doing something oily. Yes, I am. Yeah, not yet, though. Oh, no, we've got a way to go yet. Alright, give it a little bit more... Uh, bit more wedge. Alright. Okay. Do, 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 Right. We come up here. Yes. We need to drop wagons one and two in there. Yes. There is a passenger car here where I left it. We drop wagon three in there. Yeah. So you are going to need to detach wagon three from wagons one and two. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, you could detach Wagon 3 in here. Yeah, and then run 1 and 2 up there, back it in, and then whatever you like to get the last one. So run around and then come back and push it in. Right, okay. <clears throat> okay, cool. Where are we? We're over there somewhere. You could waste many a day playing this. You know what? You could. And it wouldn't be the worst thing you'd be doing either. It's all right. But it has not yet fallen into the category of things I would play for fun. But you know what? Streaming games uh, is a lot of fun. If you've got a good game and you've got good chatter going on, like we have here, uh it's it's very it, you you can make almost any game more enjoyable you haven't changed these points nope you probably should have done yep okay give me some train break please <clears throat> i thought about changing the points you're going to run into the back of that passenger car no i'm not okay right rock that off yep Stop. Sticker in reverse. Yep. Gently does it. Okay. Play run eight under no circumstances. Will I play run eight? No. No. I've done, I've done, I'm too busy waiting for paint drying simulator. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not. I've got nothing personal against the people who like run eight. However, no. No, I can think of nothing less interesting. Well, I can probably think of a few things less interesting. No, paint drying simulator still wins. Yeah. Uh, good. Yeah. Because I'm not interested in simulated trains. They, they don't. They don't interest me. The only reason I'm doing this is because there is a game in here somewhere. What is Run Eight? Run Eight is probably the most simulator simulator it's a it, it ends up usually ends up being a toss-up between run eight and um what's it called the, the ancient european job which has only got one train in it uh, zuzi zuzi three no no wrong one it's not still not the break even though it should be okay uh and <clears throat> It's fine. If you want to do proper train simulation, they're probably the best you're going to get. Uh, where it's amputated all sense of fun, unless your sense of fun comes from following correct procedures perfectly. There are plenty of people for whom that really floats their boat. And more, more power to them. But it really doesn't float mine. Not even slightly. Right, in the off, and give it a little bit. 
Run HD equivalent of Eve Online? No, it's not. No, 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 no. Uh, Eve is um, no. Eve's got too much, too much to it. Um, it's the equivalent of. It's more like Elite Dangerous, where the the actual piloting of the spaceship is fab, but in terms of game, where is it? Uh, it's like it's the equivalent of Flight Sim, right? Which is you have to you're going to have to find your own fun in there and you're going to have to derive fun from doing things properly it's all about the journey it's not the, the destination is meaningless okay right. uh, the redraw of the track is that supposed to be shadow is annoying it's it, it's probably because i'm on the cusp of two lod levels so, level of detail. Yeah, that there. Um, you can see it's in a it's in a radius around me. So it's not even lod levels. No, it's a shadow draw distance thing. You know, I tried to solve that on uh, on Train Sim World. Or I, I put I, we were discussing we were discussing a kind of hacky solution because Train Sim World suffers from the same. Um, uh, track shadow drawing and I said what if the tracks came with shadows to begin with so we didn't actually render any shadows on the tracks but they looked like they were shadows uh, because it's what why are you doing that because you only no, you didn't do that you can't now you're going to have to get out and do it because you're uncoupled oh sorry yeah, okay. My fault, my fault. I didn't I didn't hold shift or control or whatever it was. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, I said so yeah, instead of rendering shadows on the track, paint them in. It's fake, and if you look at it, you will spot that it's fake. But you won't get any shadow pop in and therefore the end result might actually look quite a lot better. Uh power washing sim was unexpectedly great to watch. Power Washing Sim is very, very easy to play uh, in terms of just having fun. Jumps over the roof again. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a good, it's a very good, satisfying experience, is Power Wash Sim. But it, it becomes almost like one of those pictorial finding things games. Have you changed these points? I believe so. Uh, no, 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 you're doing everything right. Okay, good. Yeah, everything is now now the plan. Yeah. Uh, PT's chucked 10 of your Aussie bucks in the buckets. Uh, just got up after a heavy night on the gins, multiple. Uh, so you missed the weather. We didn't do the weather, but I'll do yours because you've chucked 10 Aussie bucks in the bucket. So, dollary dues, beg your pardon. Um, uh, 21 and overcast with showers in Brizzy. Uh, with multiple weather changes likely throughout the day. On the subject of Australia, I watched, uh, or rather, I was doing a bit of satisfactory, and I had the dish on last night, and that is, it's as close to the perfect film as you're ever likely to get. If you've not seen it, um, it's about the uh, the Australian uh, satellite dish station. Wow, what would you call those? Installation. Uh, during the moon landings. Um, and it's just, you know, four likeable people, four likeable Aussies running, half heartedly running this station. It's fantastic. It's uh, it's absolute Sam Neill. I, I recommend it to absolutely everyone. It's just such a lovely film. Um, yeah. The Dish. You'll thank me later. If you've not seen it, go and watch it. It's great. Uh, right. There you go. There you go, that's my Australian reference for the day. I'll trap the loco on the oil run. No, I won't. Liam, you haven't been paying attention. I, I talked through that. Have you changed the points? Yes. Had to check though, didn't you? Yes. Um, yeah, I already talked through the plan. I talked through the plan. The plan's going to work just fine. You're watching The Gentleman at the moment, and it's great. The Gentleman is good. Yeah. The dish is up there with the van um which is a Roddy Doyle job from uh, from Ireland and it's Colmini running a, a Borger van uh during Italia 90 
and that's that's an equally good movie although it it, it doesn't have as good an ending uh, I really 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 enjoyed uh, the dish yesterday I'd, I'd seen it a couple of times before Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Put your back into it, son. We've got to get next to the loading platforms. I hope they don't want to take me anything else. Sam, <laughs> Sam Neill Event Horizon. Yes, I know that Sam Neill is not to be trusted because of what he did to the Event Horizon. But at the same time, sometimes he's all right. Hey, somebody just gave me money. They gave me 120 quid. That doesn't feel like much when the next loco is 12 grand. Get flipping knotted. Click that. <laughs> nope, it's shift. Ah, oh, I bet on it being controlled. Well, co connect them back up again. Right. There you go. That's, that's got it. Right. Okay. Return to four watts. Okie dokie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't put the handbrake on the oil wagon. It's fine. It's fine. We're on the flat. It's all good. It's all good. Right. Four bars. Okay. Event Horizon is scary. Event Horizon is really scary. When I worked in Blockbuster, it was my recommendation to people go, you got a scary movie, scary movies. I said, we sure do, Bubsy. Oh, you dropped the wagon in the wrong place. Liam was right. Don't say that. You're going to have to go pick it up, drag it forward, drop it off, flip it around, zip it over and uh, wang it up. You dropped it off in the wrong place. Life happens. Still, they're going to pay me a king's ransom for delivering it. They're not. I know, I was being facetious. Uh, yeah. Right, let's go. Okay, thank you. Right. Sam Neill in Dead Calm. Dead Calm's another good movie. Yeah. Has anyone in chat played this beyond the tutorial? Uh, the, the gameplay beyond the tutorial is you actually start employing drivers to drive some of these services for you, which is why it's given me two trains to start with. When the second one is ready later on today, it will probably go, did you know you can now assign a driver to blah, 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 blah. And, uh, and I'll go, oh, I did know that. But thanks for telling me. Do you have to hit these things so hard? Yes. Uh, okay, yeah. Got it, yeah. Okay, got it. Keep going backwards. You sure? Please hold. Uh, it doesn't really matter. No, go, just go straight forwards. Okay. No, I'm, I'm doing exactly the same manoeuvre. I'm just doing it in a slightly different order. That's all. That's all. Okay. Right. And then... Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Curse you! I'm going to have to do it properly. I was going to cut it loose, but no. Oh, now we're too far up the flaming junk. Go back a little bit. Boo hiss. Operation flipping spoil sport. Using the train the way it was not meant to be used. Right, it's going. You're against the clock. Oh, crikey, I am. You've set yourself an unnecessary uh, excitement moment here. Yeah, right. Better give it more. Right, there we go. Go, 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 go. Yes, I'm aware that Sam Neill's a Kiwi, but in the dish he's playing in Australia. Right. Brakes. Switch. Reverse. Brakes, floor it. Let's go. Come on, come on. Where's it got to? It's all good. Oh, it's going to be close. Go, go, go. Come on, come on.
Come on. No, abort. Yeah, abort. Curses. <coughs> I wasn't about to just knock it off. Uh... Okay, we'll do it again. That was only quick, and yes, it was deliberate. Well, obviously, I made it fairly obvious that it was deliberate. Uh, but there we go. All right, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll go back and... Uh, well, if you just wait a couple of minutes, it will be through that junction. I ain't got that kind of time frame. Um, we'll go get it. Put the handbrake on the car. No, 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 no. None of you people have got into the spirit of this. Which is, it's, 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 it's about beating the, it, it's, uh, it's about grabbing the fedora from behind the, uh, the closing boulder door trap thing. Uh, that's what we were endeavouring to do there. But because I fluffed it, it didn't work. It would have been great if it had, if it had, uh, if it had come off but it didn't so it wasn't yeah yeah i'm gonna have to go oh no you couldn't have stopped anywhere else that's all right i'm going back to get it oh yeah okay <laughs> it all it almost stopped somewhere convenient but didn't Uh, you can put the forward backward thing closer to the centre to make the train go fast. Yes, I know, but I don't want the train to go fast at the moment. Uh, and it's still, the, the way that I heard it described was if you have it all the way out to the end, it's like having the train in first gear. As you get towards the middle, it's as though you're you're putting the gearing up into up into subsequent gears. So if you're pulling away, it's always worth starting out in a low gear. Got it. Bring it with. Let's try that again. You're going to try the exact same manoeuvre. I am that kind of stupid. It's only an oil car anyway. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, if you released it now. That's true. Right, because now, if you wait for me to go past, and then flip the switch, you could have auto-delivered it. Ah, oh well, yeah. Is it not worth trying that? You know it might do it anyway. Yeah, it might. But we're going to go and give it a hand just to be on the safe side. Okay. Hey ho. Yeah, I know, because I want to deliver these and then we get to find out what happens next. I apologise for time wasting, but I found a moment that made me go, oh, this could be fun, and I had to do something that would be fun. Yeah. There you go. Oh! She's still rolling! gonna make it all right hang on i'm gonna stop the train and then we shall use the handbrake when it is correctly positioned yes this wasn't even kicking it this was a dragon release high levels of skill yeah we're dropping it well I don't, let it go all the way to buffers i say Alright. In your face, heating oil car. Now, I hope it gives me credit for this, because I am the one who delivered it. Yeah. Are you sure you want to go all the way to the buffers? Yeah. Done! <laughs> ah, great. Yeah. Now what? Skip forward to the next day. How much, how much fuel have I got left? Right, you've got five and a half tons of fuel, loads. You've got 3,200 gallons of water, which is still loads. You know what you should do? I should take on more contracts for the next day. Yeah, you've done all of the contracts today. Yes. Uh, shall I hook up the passengers for tomorrow? Well, yeah, I mean, if we're going to do them first, why not? 
Okay, it doesn't really make any difference whether we do that now or in the morning. So it's it's all good. It also it also went cha ching and gave me sixty five quid. That's how I knew it was done. Right. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? When it comes to doing tomorrow's contracts, we'll probably try that again. Only even more stupid. Right. You are now. Have you got anything else going on? Operations. Nope. You're done. Super. Okay. Yeah. No. Good. And you're done for the day. I think so. Yeah. We did that first. Okay. Cool. Right. Yeah. Good. Right. Good. Right. Right. Good. 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 Sit. Yeah. All right, solid. Ultra Neil's chucked a tenner in the buckets. So I'm officially a train driver. What are you talking about? I've, everybody knows that I'm already the greatest train driver on the planet. Or certainly on the internet. Ask anyone. They know. They know that I am A1 top dog, Mr. Big. Yeah. Now, the AI for passengers is apparently pretty good. Uh, okay. So in theory, you could catapult wagons all over the place and let the contracts finish themselves as long as the points were set. Yes, Swinney. Yes, you could. And you know what? It's only... Uh, now, we'd need to back up a fair bit. Are you watching your train? Mostly. Uh, you'd need to back up a fair bit because you'd need to get that oil wagon up to 30-ish and then let it go from all the way up at that siding and hope that it bled off the right amount of speed by the time it got here. Because if it didn't, it would derail in quite a spectacular fashion. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, taking the reverser back a bit, save some steam. Hey. I've got loads of steam. Steam's free. I've already got the cooker on, so who cares? Uh, right. Now then, talk to me. Locations. Is it locations? Why not? Uh, tier 1, no change. Okay. Bonuses available at higher tiers. Okay, I guess I've got that long. How much money have I got now? Not as much as you'd like. Okay. Finance, finance. I've got 5,100 quid. Great. And I paid 150 quid for my fuel. I paid 15 quid out for my employee. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're gradually... Going, we're, we're making money, but it's going to make you grind for it. Of course it's going to make you grind for it. Of course it is. Don't be ridiculous. Ella Farm Supply. Oh, three tiers for Ella Farm Supply. Do you really want to get into that? Well, there was one it said that I shouldn't do. Yeah, I don't know which one it said I shouldn't do. Look it up. Uh, back. Uh, yeah, back. Yeah, back. Uh, no return trip. No, no, no. First contracts. First contracts. Blah, 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 blah. Back up. Yeah. No, you're a giant chat. Ella Farms Blow. Yeah, yeah. Check out Ella Farm Supply and in which it right Ella Farm Supply. We can take Ella Farm Supply. We'll do tier two. We'll be gentle about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm blocking the road. There's no cars lane. It's all good. Uh, and besides which, as far as I'm aware, uh, constantly blocking a crossing in the US. That's uh, that's realistic. Are you going back, not forwards? Yeah, I was trying to close it. Ah, yeah. Okay, we'll close it then. Right, give me time on the old clock. We're done for today, uh, so let's advance to tomorrow. Where's time on the old clock? It's not there. <clears throat> it was here earlier. Yep, no, it's under settings. It's under settings, right. Sleep. Okie dokie, check milestones. Oh, do I have to? I don't want mandatory flipping uh, objectives. All right, milestones, what you got? Repair the Ella track and bridge. The diesel fueling stand at East Whittier is going to cost me 350 quid. Okay, naff off. Uh, purchase tractor Sylvia is 10 grand. Well, I ain't got it. So, again, naff off. 
Right, I have now checked them, Neil. And you know what? They can all naff off. Uh, right, we are good to go. Let's cook it. Yeah. Pass Passage first. Got it. All right, good. Uh, connect the uh, connector. We're connected. All right, and then uh, give it a honk. At six in the morning, they'll love you for that. Well, yeah. Well, they, they will if they don't miss their train. We're going to Ella. Get on board. <clears throat> do, 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 do. <clears throat> Six people, is that all? No, no, no. They're, they're loading up now. Oh, okay. Cool. <clears throat> Says not to deal with sawmill because it's wonky. Thank you, Mr. Watts. Uh, yeah. I need to have two engines running. Once I get more than five or six contracts going. Yeah. Yeah. I've checked milestones. None of the milestones are doable. I don't care about any of those milestones. Those milestones all suck. I'm doing this. I'm doing passage. Yes. <clears throat> uh, ultra, don't make me laugh. Too, I, I currently have a condition where I pass out if I laugh too much. Well, I think that's the very definition of being a you problem. I'm here to try and make people occasionally chortle, Neil. I ain't, what do you say? Be less fun? Well, I'm playing a train game. What war do you want? Hey. Uh, Jacob's chucked a tenner in a bucket. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, last streamed live for a while. Oh, gracious. Uh, moving to Asia after some paid time off. Really happy to get to make it to the end of Bongos and Red Hand Gang. Many thanks for the quality videos and banter. Well, thank you, Jacob. That's great. I uh, hope you have a good time in Asia. Uh, yeah, no, that sounds like you're going to have a, you're going to have quite the adventure. Uh, are we good to go? Did you put the handbrake on? Have I left the kettle on? Uh, right. Gates are open. Handbrake is applied. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Right, it is now released. Yeah. Give it a one of them. Uh, one of those, bit of this, one of those, and then that's the correct sequence. Right, let's roll. Now, remember today, don't go over 30. <laughs> well, I think everybody does. But yesterday, you made a right mess by absolutely thumping it down. There, so don't. I wasn't even thumping, I was doing 39. There's no thump involved in that in the slightest. Uh, yeah. Alright, ease that off a bit. You've got a good speed. What's this doing? Hello, what's your problem? Yeah, no. Talk to me. Tell me. Speak with me. Let us communicate as men do. Uh, right, yeah. What do you want? Are you just staying there? Alright, well I'm going to ram you with another one today. So, I ain't have fun. Wrong direction, not to go to Ella. No, I'm going the right direction for Ella. Yeah, no, I'm totally going the right way. It's fine. Or do you mean wrong direction in the sense of I'm pushing the coach rather than pulling it? Because that's not the wrong, that's intentional. Yeah, right, good. Uh, you earn about 50k a day of wood pulp at the paper mill and the sawmill, all tier 5. After one hour of doing it, you're screaming for mercy, but it's worth it. Goodness gracious, that's a lot. Oh, yeah, I could cut this wagon loose for the passengers. No, you've got to, you've got to stop the car for the, uh, for the passengers to get out, sadly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're doing over 30. Right. I'm only just over 30, though. Yeah, but don't. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh, to experience another phase, try the train AI. I don't know how... I, I, I've not been introduced to it yet. Uh, I will do if I get uh, an inkling of how. Slight dab of break here, I think. Don't want a repeat of yesterday, where it got very bumpy for the passage. 
Who? Uh, looking at most played games on Steam, I don't believe it. How can Gary's mod be more played than Cyberpunk? Um, because of because Gary's mod is a platform; it's not a game, right? There are so many things you can do with Gary's mod in terms of making it fun. Plus, it's cheap and cheerful. Uh, and it's very popular with the teenage boys. Very, very popular with the teenage boys who, uh, who just want to run around and goof about a bit with each other. <clears throat> and that's why it's so popular. Uh, click on the train, click operation, click road and stop at stations and then crack it full on the slider. Sounds like a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Ease it off a bit. Yeah, right, I'm easing, I'm easing. I'll I'll get the AI to do the run back because the other train will be available now. I don't know if the other train is juiced up and G to G, uh, but if it is, I will send Laughing Boy here back up the other way with the passengers. Yeah, Gary's mod has a lot more years on it compared to Cyberpunk. Yeah, but the, that's the, the the inverse is usually true. Is that the newer something is, the more it tends to be used uh, but there are perennial favorites like counter-strike and dota and uh, and gary's mod um, that are always played i mean you could look at stuff like rust as well um, which is the same developers uh, and that's doing extraordinarily well. Ridiculously. AI is basically set it and forget it until you turn the train around. Not super useful without railroad extensions. Uh, but once the line is unlocked, it can become a lifesaver. Well, it can also... I mean, it's a force multiplier as well, right? Because it will earn you m the money that you don't have to invest time in. I get it. I get it. Uh, right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we want to see it in action. Dummy. Yeah. Especially since I probably won't be back with this next week. Yeah. Uh, right. Turn everything on. You've overshot. Really? This station is a poxy little size then, isn't it? Yeah, I know. But I mean, it is. So, you know, deal. Okay, poxy little station. Come on, put it away. There you go. Come on, back we go. Back we go. Back we go. Back we go. Back, back, back we go. It goes back. There we go. Right, cease operation. Uh, okay. Oi, you lot. Get out. Control click. Control click. There's too many buttons need pressing still 45 quid for this one today or thereabouts anyway <clears throat> who bummer hey <laughs> yeah <clears throat> yeah yeah what are we looking at you think this is fiddly keeping the ai running used to be a lot fiddlier I think it just needs, and they're not ready for it yet. That's the important bit. Is that they're still they're still working on the fundamentals for this. Um, it's solid for what it is. I'm not taking anything away from how solid this already is. Uh, it's more like they need to figure out all of the kind of gameplay variants and then go back and look at the user experience that goes along with that. Now, normally you'd do the two in parallel, but they're a tiny, tiny, tiny little team, so they probably don't have a dedicated UX person on board who can go, why are we using such convoluted controls for this? And kind of go, because this is how you do it on Run 8. You're going to go, you know, both the people that have played Run 8 aren't going to be playing this. And you're going to be getting a whole bunch of other people here as well. Uh, 33 quid for 45 fares? Well, who are we not charging full price for? It's supposed to be a quid a ticket. That was a perfectly good run. What are you even talking about? I'd like to speak to your manager. I'm being had. 
<sighs> Are there still plans for a VOD series of this? No. No. This is this was the evaluation stream for will I do any more of it? And the answer is no. I'd rather do more Derail Valley. Um I'm not having I'm not having a terrible time. I'm quite enjoying myself. But frankly, I've seen an awful lot of this strip of rail now, and it wasn't that exciting the first time. Um, the train's lovely, but I covered that in the first 10 minutes of driving. So, right, ops, train crew, yeah, none. Sweet. Okay, that's on the, that's on the wagon, right, okay, give me you. Hello, equipment, right. Destination repair, no, 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 no. Customize. Lettering. Goof. There we go. Uh, that's nice. And again, I think we were talking to the tender. We weren't talking to the loco. Operations. All right. Train crew. None. Uh, orders. Ah. Road. Uh, sure. Yeah. Max speed. 25. That's 10. No. Stop when passing. Maybe. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're a little bit quick on the flipping mark there, son. This isn't this isn't AI. This is just using a radio controller. Yeah, shut up. Uh, right, road. Yard, road. Direction, reverse. Max speed, 20. Right, get out. And your whistle sounds different to when I do it. All right, off it goes. All right, so let's go and check out the other train. That's kind of cool. Yeah, although it is a little bit uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice in the sense that that's just going to go now until it can't go any further. Yep, that's what you pays your money for. And also, you've got no idea of where it, when it's going to reach its destination. Nope. Uh, right. Here we go. Train number two, please. Right. Are you good to go or what? You know what, though? I'm not entirely sure I can be here. We'll try control t it. Hey, I'm here. Well, who's aboard train number one? Nobody. Oh, gracious. Right, are we going? Are you are you viable or do I need to fire you up or similar? No, 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 no. it seems to be viable. Okay. Right. Sit in. Get out. And make sure you've got... No, we want the BTAR1. Select. Smooth. Yeah. Forwards. Is it though? Yes, it is. Okay. Forwards. Right. How much? Real, real gentle-like. Well, that bit works. Yep. Okay, has it got a handbrake? It's not generating any steam. Oh, are we out of juice? Uh, please hold. No coal, no water. Firebox seems to be lit, though. Yeah. How do I... Oh, you're going to have to drag it to the coal and water department. Oh, what a drag. Okay, I don't mind that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Right, let's go and find Sorcerer's Apprentice. Mickey, where you at? Yes, I know I could use the map and just click there, but that feels like cheating and I don't want to do it. Uh, I'd far sooner zoom up and down the same bit of track over and over again. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, in other news, I uh, know this is going to come as a shock to some of you. I've had a really good idea for a new Bongo series. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Back in Man Bannerlord, I can't. I just can't do it. Have we left the tutorial? Yes, we have. We are out of the tutorial. I've not done all of the things the tutorial has requested me, but then the tutorial's like that. Uh, right. Orders. Manual, please. Thank you. Right. Uh, make sure you've selected it. That's BTAR2. It is. Yes, it is. Select. Thank you. Good. Right. Okay. 
this is still a tutorial. No, it's not. I've done it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've, I've done it. I've done it. Uh, the, on the yard tab under orders, you can have the brake and direct from the train. Presumably that means you'd need a caboose on there as well. Uh, it allows for a remote couple. Big nice adventures. No, no, no. This would be... This would have to be a completely new, a fresh, a fresh start. I mean, it wouldn't have to be. It might be quite interesting to start with all there is, is House Bongolian uh, and, the, uh, and the running of the universe. The only reason that I've, that, that I haven't gone, yes, I shall do that, is because there isn't anything new in Bannerlord, except I've come up with kind of a new idea for Bannerlord. Uh, it would be quite nice to play in the continuing Bannerlord universe that we already have. Yeah. Also, don't it ca became quite repetitive at the end. Very true. But this would be with a brand new character, you see, so that's the only reason that I'm considering it, even remotely doing it. You've gone quite fast. I'm in quite a hurry. All right, okay. <clears throat> we made it around the 30 mile an hour corner. It's all good. Yeah. Kevin, you're off. Lovely to see you, Kevin. Thank you for swinging by. Uh, it's always a delight. You are one of those for whom it is a delight to have you aboard for a Saturday evening. I uh, hope to see you again. Have a pleasant evening. Right. <clears throat> So what are we going to do? Uh, right, we're going to stuff using the AI service. We're going to drop this off. Take the money from it. We'll go and get the contracts up. And we'll try being even more erratic in terms of delivering our uh, our cargo. Okie dokie. Yeah. You can't get into Banner Lords at all. You don't like the game. Fair enough. I mean, you know, all taste is subjective. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I can't argue against that. If you can't get into it, you can't get into it. Uh, Ultra Neil, you're leaving as well. Thank you very much, Ultra Neil. Lovely to see you. Thanks for swinging by. Rampage Driver's going as well. Goodness me, there's an exodus. They've gone, yeah, I, I think I've seen enough of this bit of track. Yeah. See? See? I've seen enough of this bit of track, and that's why... It's not going to be around for much longer. Right, there you go. We're here. Just get off the back or get off on the road. I don't care. Either way, get off. All right, leave. Leave. There they go. Right. Good, 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 good. Yep. <clears throat> Jono, the AV gate. It's great to see the Colonel playing my f my current favourite game and the hilarity that should ensue. You've missed the hilarity, Jono. It was earlier. It was good. Uh, um, yeah, but but, uh, but but modest, let's say. Uh, the opportunities for hilarity are quite are quite slim line with this because the the hilarity comes from. <clears throat> oh, I've wrecked it. Uh, and even weirder city skylines. Skylines is coming. Uh, it will be a once a month, and I have a full concept for it. Uh, I just need to get started when I've decided it's the right time to get started. Right, dump that, and then let's get out of here. Whistle Posse, show your DJ love. Uh, yeah, okay, good. All right, yeah, solid. Right, um, you want to be pimped off as a bridge builder in Poly Bride 3. Eileen, have you been at the Sherry? Oh, actually, you said earlier that you were going to. So that's fine. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> You're perfectly allowed to go at the sherry. But, 
And it was just a, just a bit of a, what? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, good. No, I do have a Skylines concept. I really like it as a concept. I'm just waiting for the right time to start it. Don't forget the baseball tomorrow night. Don't forget the baseball tomorrow night. I'm looking forward to it. Um, also, there's a new Electro Sports series starting soon. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to uh, to come join that. Chances are, but it's not locked in yet, uh, that the new uh, the new Electro Sports series will, uh, will follow on after the baseball on a Sunday. Haven't decided it for sure, but at the moment it feels like it might be the best time for it. But I haven't decided for sure. Right, is it the same three as yesterday? It is is and isn't oh well where's my oily wagon do they not want me anymore apparently they're less bothered okay we're going down to ella's farm supply well this box is at the wrong flipping end two for ella's farm supply one for stenzel oh okay all right fine all right come on let's go let's be having you let's have it let's go Let's go. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. You're just here for the trains. If you have not watched the baseball, you haven't lived. Oh, this is a bit swift. Yeah, you've derailed your goof wagon and that wagon and possibly this one as well. Oops. Yeah. Okay. I didn't think I was going that fast. Yep, but you were though. I was. What are you doing in here? This is apparently where I was. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, fortunately, it's nearby. It's the other way. <sighs> yeah, no, sorry. I didn't think I was going that fast. I've already done purposeful derailing. I don't need to do it again. Right, go on. Get back on there. Yeah, you're on. Yeah, how's the front wheels? They're good. It was only the tender. Oh, who needs them anyway? You'd have thought with three and a half thousand gallons of water in there, it'd be fine. But it wasn't. Go on, you get on. Get on. There you go. Right, is everybody else happy? Oh, yeah, moderately. Yeah, okay. Back in here. Lovely. All right, good. Outside. Now then, you're going to need a bit of a run-up. I am. All right. Do, 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 do. And baseball Live is even better than Baseball Just the Series. It's not working. Intriguing. Well, how have I broken this then? Uh, is the train broken? Uh, no. Not that it's telling me. Condition's still 77%. It's golden. Okay. Have I disconnected my tender? Oh, it's derailed. It flipping isn't, bruv. Look at it. Look, it's not. Everything's on the rails. What are you on about? Don't talk rot. All right, I'll go and re-rail it some more, shall I? If you're not happy with the level of re-railing that I've already done. Oh, there you go. Now you appear to be happy, and now the train's running off on itself. All right, there you go. All right, I don't need to go that far. I only need to go far enough that I can get a good thunk onto those wagons. Whoo! Yeah, right. Well, if you grip it and rip it, you're going to get a heck of a thump on it this time. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Right. There you go. Five miles per hour is the right amount. What about 4.4 .4 miles an hour? It's near enough the right amount. I've never looked at electro sports. Oh, come on! <laughs> why not it's great and it's and it's entirely especially if you're into the universe already if you are already part of the dozerverse then you will go oh oh i see yes oh i should have seen this before yes you should all right wherever you put your handbrake this time oh we like to hide it somewhere different every time all right there you go that's released and you uh yeah that released that as well okay all right choo choo 
Let's go, go. I don't know where these Ella food wagons are going, but I suspect it's going to be Ella. Make sure you take evasive action so you don't hit the passenger train. What? Okay, fine. Yeah. Is it worth refueling the other loco? I'm never going to need it. But we've got how long we've got left? 24 minutes left. I don't need a second one. Okay. I don't need it. I'm going to deliver these. I'm going to go, woo! I made $112. We're in the rain. No, nope, it's just a bad texture. Oh, okay. So anyone that's not seen it, Colonel's Mud Runner series is very good. The Mud Runner series is very good. Uh, better than the Toy Master. The Toy Master was a one and done and had one joke, even if the joke was quite funny. Contemplated watching baseball from the very beginning. That's quite an endeavour. I don't know how many seasons I've done that. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, it's worth it for the canonical members of Bulldozer Power past uh, past members because they've they've dispersed throughout the league now. Yeah. Enjoying the chat, but as someone who once worked in a paint testing lab, I can tell you that this game does give paint drying a run for its money. I think I'll try and find the dish. It's on uh, Amazon Prime. <clears throat> Bob. And you're making the right call. You just you you make it. You're not going to see anything you haven't already seen this evening. The grind is definitely real in this game, but that's the that's the whole point. That is game versus simulator encapsulated. The grind is the game uh, in a simulator. There is no point to any of it beyond just doing it. Um, and that's why I keep bouncing off Derail Valley, despite the fact that the individual drives are really good fun. The individual drives in this are less good fun. I'm not going to lie. They're not as good as Derail Valley by a long stretch. It's still relatively satisfying. Um, but there's a button I'm going to be pressing as soon as I'm done on the stream. You know it. I might, I might give it a look in the future. Um, but I'm not going to give it a look again in the present for life she is too short flashy intro but no outro i know i need, I need to make an electro sports outro i haven't done it yet. i don't know how i might go about doing it although i've just had 15 ideas all pop into my head at once refund or uninstall oh no just uninstall i don't refund anything ever because even if if i think the development team have put the work into it they can have my money uh, I support fellow developers. Right? Yeah, it is on install. I'll have the disk space back. Um, I've got nothing against this game. I've got nothing against it. It's just, it's not for me. I am not the target audience. And that's really sad because uh, the target audience for train simulation uh, type games is minuscule. It is so tiny. And yet, uh, so many people actually kind of like trains. But the problem with simulators is they are deathly dull. Because there is so little that can occur to break up the, the regular monotony of it. Because at the end of the day, trains do two things. They go forwards, they go backwards. That's it. That's all they do. And you kind of go, well, you could throw in random events... That's the worst thing you could do. Because if you're on a two-hour run, and then all of a sudden, at the end, I mean, did you play Train Life? Sweet. Jesus, Train Life was awful. Just absolutely wretched as a game. Yeah. Now, we can just back this load in here. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I'm too occupied with mucking about to be good at derail valley no it's because i'm trying to have fun with it it's not fun you've got to play it seriously to get anywhere with it uh and in order to if you don't find the act of driving it to be fun enough then you look for fun in other ways and i have i have stated on 
every occasion possible, I'm not a trains guy. I mean, when I when they put me over as creative director at uh, at Dovetail, I I explained exactly what they needed to do to reach the same level of audience as Transport Fever, without losing the the train simulation core or the train driving core of it. Uh, and I, I'm not going to tell you why, not yet. Um, but yeah, there, there are very real there are very real ways that uh, a decent piece of train simulation could appeal to a massively larger audience, and it is not about simply cloning your own truck. Train Life tried it, and it was bad. Derail Valley have done a decent job, but the world is dead. You're the only person there, and it's. It's very isolated, but it's a game about uh, about being proficient in your driving. Yeah, I tell you though, D-Roll Valley to play, it beats every other train driving game that I've played because the track is so well designed. Um, it, the, 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 the way that they've implemented different grades and curves and that kind of thing, they have set it up to be entertaining and varied and interesting and fun and they have put a lot of thought into that but it could never work in multiplayer because it's single track everywhere yeah and therefore it's going to be limited you couldn't even have AI unless I mean you could possibly get away with having some AI shunters uh, gotta remember a rail rider is still in early access I don't, I don't I, I, I have no criticism for, for this game. I have no criticism for it at all. Other than it's not for me. I am not the target market. I am a trains adjacent gamer. I am not a train enthusiast or simulator enthusiast. Uh, yeah. The game is great for what it is. <clears throat> I'm not... Take it as a... If this is your kind of thing, you're going to have a lovely time. If it's not your kind of thing... Yeah. Remember the runaway wa ra wagon in one of my latest derail valleys? I love it. And, and that's unintended consequences. And I find un unintended adventure to be the most satisfying thing in the world. It makes for great videos, anyway. Uh, I mean, the only reason I make train videos in the first place is because people watch them. If no one was watching them, I wouldn't make them. And the only reason that people watch them is because I've made them in the past. And that they are slightly more uh, joyful uh, without being denigrating towards trains themselves. Um, it's not like people just, you know, trying to crash them or lob them off cliffs or any of that kind of behavior. Yeah? No, I mean, I might occasionally do something daft like trying to slap a wagon into a siding in a kind of kicked fashion. But that's just as a momentary, uh, a momentary break. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going. Other than this way. You've got plenty of time. True. Okay, where are we going? Pops. <clears throat> Ella, farm station, R1. Okay. That's this, right? I don't know. Is there a sign that says R1? Don't be daft. Is there a sign that says R1 on the map? No, I'll check that in a moment. No. All right. Then let's, for the sake of argument, say it's this one. Well, when you click the thing, that's where it sent you. That's true. All right. Where's the train? It'll be up that way somewhere. Okay, should we go find it? Yeah, let's do that. You've got a man-child to shoe. <laughs> Been there, done that. I sympathise. Uh, right. Here we are, look. Choo-choo. Hey, I would work best in Deer Isle Valley as road vehicles, so those old road, uh, trucks and vans would move around. That would bring the, truck, the world to life a little bit more. It would help. 
but it wouldn't put any extra traffic on the track and that's the big that's the big problem you reckon it's the siding behind the passenger building uh, in which case I'm going to need to do a quick run around in order to shove them in yeah um okay yeah you can see how hard it is to create engaging content in railroad especially in the early game uh but as you grow the railroad and add more trains it gets more interesting yeah but you see i'll have by the time i've done this i'll have five hours in the game maybe even six now i've played the tutorial twice but that's not all that atypical in terms of person behavior i might even get away with parking it in here you know this might work i don't know if that's the right thing though no that there isn't another way of doing it you'd have to turn the whole train no you you stick your wagons up here back out or you'd have to forward out wait till the train turns up no 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 we're pulling right yes okay and where do you think we want them i think we want them in there or there right but it might even be here but that could just be a turny aroundy kind of deal all right, so you're coming in forward. So you go in like that. Yeah. Then you're back in like this. Yeah. And if you can't abandon them there, well, we're pooched. Okay. So you come in like this. Yeah. You stick that. You, you drop them off. Yeah. You go up there. You turn it around. You come up. You grab them. You pull back. You go forwards. You pull back. You go forwards. Option two. If this had track laying, it would be more interesting. It's better than railroad. If, if this had track laying, it would be better than railroads online. Uh, because you are not attached to what you're doing. right? Because it, you just leave it going and then you can't pick it up once in a while. Uh, and with track laying, you could do a whole load of fun stuff. I mean, railroads online, I recoiled hard from that because... It was a game about track laying and train driving. And the track laying was pretty poor. And the train driving was pretty poor. Which left to an experience that was pretty poor. Yeah. Uh, I have done steam in Derail Valley. I have. That's true. We're going very fast here. What, 40 miles an hour? Steady on. Oh, it's like a rocket blowing through me hair. No, it's not. You're being facetious. Right. Okay, so we're going to decouple in here somewhere, and then I'll do a quick whip it around the other side. Or, no, that's, gonna, that's how it's got to be. It's how it, it's how, there isn't an or. Do it like that. All right. Okay. TPF has very basic train driving mechanic. Uh, does it? I've never used it. It must be a mod. Right. They've got a ride in the cab, which I've used a plenty. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't like the I didn't like the 060. Uh, it, well, I mean, the reason being, it didn't give me any information about what I was supposed to be doing with it, so I just drove it, and it blew up. Uh, but the little diesel that everybody said I'd hate, I loved. Loved the little diesel. Yep, yep, KG, you're on the money. That's exactly what I'm doing. Ah, see, we're not in low gear. There you go. You missed the if in that sentence. What? Which if? Oh, you put an if in your sentence. Well, I don't know where that sentence has gone now. So, uh, okay. Or if transport field has very basic train driving. It's not that kind of game. And also, if you were able to drive the trains in, in Transport Fever, I don't think it makes it any better. Because Transport Fever is about operating a rail network. Right? It's always been about building and operating a rail network. Now, the tycoon side of the game has never been brilliant. Um, it's always been good initially and then falls apart later on because it becomes too easy to just do everything uh, the things that would make a difference in transport fever and in competition would help but i mean if 
uh, Railway Empire has taught us anything at all is that AI competition are not inherently fun. Um, you have to be in that kind of mood. I would say the thing that would make Transport Fever better, more than anything else, is more complex rail operations. So, uh, changing consists at different stations. Um, uh, Timetabled services. Uh, priorities on signalling so that certain things could do could so passenger trains get priority over freight and you could set the number of signals back that it should look to see whether it should be waiting or not uh, more sophisticated train operations I think would improve it more equally let's get the economy right equally let's make it run better at, uh, at higher densities of population uh, let's make the maps much bigger and I also think that interconnected asynchronous uh, maps would be the way to do multiplayer you do not want multiplayer with multi pe multiple people on one map because then you're just building something collaboratively and that's fine but I don't think it adds much more interesting would be to have my map here and then you send me a request to go can I send passengers through to your map and I've got an edge connection and it comes through on that or it uses the airport or whatever and then you can ride your train from your map through to mine and come and visit my map as a tourist that's what I think we should do with it And that's why they pay me the big bucks when they pay me. But they don't pay me anymore. So uh, I'm free to just say stuff with my face. Uh, Transport Fever 3. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I'd do with it. But I don't know. They might be going in a completely different direction with it. But that's how I would improve what they've got already. People are talking about, oh, day-night cycle and weather and all of that kind of stuff. And you kind of go, it's a novelty. It's a novelty. It wears off super quick. It's not as fun. It doesn't add fun. It adds scenic. End game tourist trains be printing money, though. It depends how you fix the tycoon side of things. Because that's... If you want to keep the, the late game... I mean, if you look at the people who are playing Transport Fever still now, the, the video people doing it, they're either doing... In this challenge, I'm going to be right. They've made, they've created their own challenges. It's, it's kind of YouTuber basic. Uh, is come up with your own challenge, try and fulfil it, try and make it seem more challenging uh, by just doing it. Uh, you know, the EPEC challenge. There's no other reason to do it than, uh, than, than for I need something complicated to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the only reason you're looking for something complicated to do is because you're trying to make new videos. <laughs> you're going to go, I've done everything the base game has to offer. I've done all of it. Uh, or the other side of things, which is the uh, the virtual train sets out there. I fear Transport Fever will try to fix the Tycoon and fail rather than focus on the strength, which is operations. Bingo. Bang on. Spot on. Apps are flaming. Not to mention all the stuff they could do with road. Loads of stuff you could do with road. Loads of stuff you could do with air that they haven't done yet. Loads of stuff. But it, it, it's the best digital train set ever. Best digital train set ever. By a million miles. Uh, and that's why I love it. Because it, it's absolutely what I want. It, I like trains in the sense of watching them run around. Hells are lovely to see you. Chuck's tenor in the bucket, which is lovely to see as well. All the best to me and the family. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. A uh, thing that will renew your interest in transport sims, says Duckboots, is if trains were more granular. Drop a few cars here. Yep, yep, yep. Park a loco overnight. The closest you're going to get for that is A train. A train does that. Uh, uh, I don't think it does consist, consist shifting, but A train's biggest feature by a thousand miles is the timetabling, and you can even you can you can timetable when the signals change 
uh, and everything and it does a 24 hour service it is uh, it is fantastically well featured on the timetable side of things the problem is it doesn't look great <laughs> it, I mean, it looks good enough uh, but it doesn't look great um, and what's the other problem uh, oh and building the city is a nightmare they've got lovely they've got lovely city buildings in there but the economy is utterly 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 screwed in a train it does not work it does not make any sense at all but i did figure out a hack <laughs> to make infinite money if you've got the patience to do it um I'm not not a sycophant. I'm a discerning customer. I've, I've made no. I don't. I'm not. I'm one of them. I've made these things, so I know how bloody hard they are. I've worked on them. I've spent I've spent a career having to defend bad decisions or code that's gone out wonky and getting yelled at by people who so really really wanted it to be better than it ended up being. Um, but it is what it is, and so you know, I get it in the neck, and I report it on, and I study the people who play them. But as someone who also plays them, uh, I go, "This is what I do with it." It's why they they put me, they gave me a, a spin at actually changing things for the better. We're, we're trying to work. Um, the the problem is that they're so limited in terms of what they're able to do beyond their normal scope. That none of the stuff I suggested really saw the light of day. I managed to make some very minor changes uh, to the way that people flowed through the game, which was better, but you know, impactful, not so much. I had great ideas for you know how you would how you would move the franchise or make a new franchise that would appeal to so many more people, but they just don't have the bandwidth to do more. Which is a pity. The bandwidth or the appetite. Yeah. They like doing what they're doing now. It's fine. Because I like all of them. I like all the people there. It's, that's all fine. I'll have another look. Uh, take a look at A Train 8. Yeah. Yeah. My problem with Open TTD is I didn't play it when it first came out, so I've only well, so I didn't play it when it was just TTD. Uh, so when I play it now, all I see is a terrible, 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 awful, outdated, uh, unusable, nearly user interface with completely archaic graphics, and it has zero appeal. I don't know why I didn't play it at the time. I don't know why. Right, we're going to try the first one. Here we go. Who played the first three versions of Settlers? I certainly did. Certainly did. Right, that one. I think we're going to try this one first. Okay. As soon as it gives me the money, I'm going to declare victory. No, nope, you're trying the other one first. No, nope, you're trying this one first. I thought. They did, they did fix that for Transport Fever 2. Uh, yo, Choco Tube. Yes, I, lo I lost a uh, gameplay series due to uh, a mod maker having a hissy fit uh, with Transport Fever 1. Or rather, the mod maker had stolen everything that he'd used in his mods. Got called on it and uh, removed them all. Money! Good. Right. I got... What, leave it up long enough for me to read it. Give me my flipping breakdown of that again, because that was interesting. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. All right. Delivery to Ella Farm. 66 quid plus extra three quid. Nice. For being fast. Boom. Uh, minus five quid for damage. Did I damage these? Yeah, you derailed them all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 
oh well it happens that's what it's for that's the uh that's the life as we know it uh right rail route i love rail route i i i feel incredibly sorry for the developer um you haven't turned your what's it off all right hang on hook it up all right now do hook it correctly um uh, over trigger track is uh, uh, trigger happy a uh, chuck 50 bucks in the bucket for what it's worth glad to watch this game i don't i've had fun doing it but to say that this was a wild and varied stream would be an overstatement uh we haven't it hasn't really done very much and not else it doesn't feel like if i were to play another four hours of it I don't think I'd have done much more after another four hours of it. I think we'd, I'd, we'd still be looking at the same bit of track. Maybe one more extra bit of track. Oh! I just don't think the variety is there. Um, but in terms of doing all the action stuff, yeah, it's good. I wrote, wrote the word goof on me tender. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, I know. I know there is Steed. Uh, sorry. Hey, Colonel, never watch your life. Uh, thanks for what you do. Well, thanks for watching what I do. Assuming you do watch what I do. Hey. Well, here, you watched a little bit of it at least. Um, and you agree on Open TTD? Well, yeah. If look, if I'd have played Transport Tycoon Deluxe when it first came out, I would have an entirely different relationship to it than I have going back to it now. I think also there is a, there is a, uh, an element of people going, oh, it's so good, it's so good. And I've played it, I've tried it, and I've gone, I don't see why it's so great. I don't see it. I just don't see what's so great about it. Have I played Sid Meier's Railroads? I certainly have. Yeah. Um, if you want to play Sid Meier's Railroads, you want to be playing, you're going at the wrong track here, son, and you're going real fast. You're going to derail again if you're not careful. Um, yeah, Railroads. The AI in Railroads was awful. Oh my goodness me. It would create some blatantly horrible looking track. Um, Railway Empire. Rail, yeah, it's Railway Empire. Railway Empire does Railroads better than Sid Meier did it. Uh, Railroad Corporation is slightly better at, uh, at track managing not least because you actually get to play signals um but it's still yeah it's still too video game a tycoon that's yeah that's the way to do it it's still too uh here's the baddie go and beat them it's what happens when you put adversaries in there and i don't need adversaries i'm my i'm my own best adversary adversary since it was brutal i never had a problem with it i used to beat it routinely it really wasn't that hard. I can't remember why. And, I, and that's not humble bragging on my part. I just genuinely don't recall it being difficult at all. I think you just have to play the play the the stock market game early on and uh, and muchly. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. That's going to wrap it up for today. Nice piece of top. Put the bell on. There you go. Did you ever play Petition Three? No, I didn't play Petition Three. Good. There you go. No, turn it back off again. Good. There you are. There. There you are. That's it. It's good. The reason I don't like TTD is because local authorities aren't at home to clowns with bulldozers flattening entire towns. <laughs> I don't know. I've never played. I've never played enough of it to to get to grips with that. Um, right. Tomorrow you've got baseball. Woohoo! Uh, and then on Monday uh, you've got school. Yes. School on Monday, children. Um, Tuesday, probably hairdressing. Just and it's only going to be two episodes. No, no, not hairdressing. Disco, probably disco. Um, hairdressing, I'm done with for the time being. I might wait and see if they update it a bunch and then go back. But it's uh, I've done enough for now. But I'd quite like to finish the tutorial so that I, well, not the tutorial. Finish doing unlocking all of the hairdressing tricks and trades and stuff, uh, just to see all the extra bits that it does. Uh, Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. Thursday, blah. 
don't know what I'm doing on Thursday yet. Anyway, next Saturday, it will probably be the last episode of Let's School as next Saturday stream. Um, not because there isn't loads more to the game. I think there is tons more to the game, not least in, in, in the tech tree. But I'm starting to reach the end of... I'm, I'm, I, I feel like all of this is compelling. Am I going to play the latest Settlers game? Probably not. I don't. I think Settlers is showing its age significantly, um, in the in concept of little dude picks things up from point A, drops it to flag. Next dude picks it up from flag, takes it to there. Next dude picks it up from flag, takes it to there. I've played that game in myriad different ways, and I think I'm done with it. I don't think I've got more enthusiasm for it. Uh, so there you go. There it is. There we are. We're off. We're out of here. Uh, I'm going to drop and pin the comment the link to the Fail Brigade Discord, which is now open to everybody, apart from all the private bits. Woohoo! Private bits. Uh, so if you want to come and join us on Discord, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, good. Right. Good. There you go. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. It's been a whole lot of fun, even if I'm not massively enamoured by the game. But that's what makes the Saturday Social Club great. Look after yourselves. See you next time. Cheerio. Thank you.